this fade. Wow. Does that look cool? Well, I don't know if cool is the word. There's you. What do you think about this? Why are you showing me first? Because I forgot which way I was going from. You know, right there. Don't put that there. Come (laughs) on. (laughs) What do you mean? Why? (laughs) We don't need that on the screen the whole fucking show. I'm not going to put it there the whole show, but don't you think it looks cool? I don't know if cool is it. This is cool, man. Yeah, it's, this I, is hardcore. I, I'm not upset by it. I'm not as upset by it as other people seem to be. Are you even a little bit upset by it? No. Do you, did you think it was hilarious like I did? I laughed. I was like, oh. I was like, what did you think was going to happen? You're feuding with a bunch of internet morons, and you go, my comic character is based on my great-grandpa. Here's his grave. And I'm it's getting like, sued by a church, and they're fake Christians, and they're bad, and actually it's because of my dead great-great-great-great-grandfather, the child of a slave. Yeah. Uh, that's actually, so I'm digging his body up and using it as a shield against a fucking Christian ministry. Okay, it's the same situation. Here's why it's funny. is because it's so innocuous and stupid. And she's like, oh, your great-grandfather's grave? Well, I'm going to go and take a picture with, with a bunny rabbit and a turtle. What do you mean innocuous? Like That's the- disrespect of that. It's off is <laughs> incalculable. Did I use a uh, innocuous incorrectly? I mean, I think you meant um, inoffensive. No, you meant uh, uh, hor- You meant uh, it's horrifying. It's terrorism. Yeah, it's yeah, terrorism. not innocuous. It means not like innocuous that's nothing. All. I mean, it's literally racist intimidation. Can you believe it? An entire uh, message board is saying how we are true maniacs for... They would never do... Oh, I have yeah. null... We would <laughs> never do anything on this level. <laughs> Don't you guys have porn of a mentally challenged guy? Isn't that the whole reason your site exists? To No, but to you don't understand. Pornog- going to a, a public cemetery and taking a selfie... And then working yourself into a frenzy trying to convince yourself that he peed on the grave... Well, I mean, look at this photo, and then we look at this photo. It's like he didn't pee on the grave, guys. Oh, wow. There's no reason for him to do that. Are we there? Are we up? Yeah, we're up. We're up. Let's, and we're this good. Give a little cup check there. Uh, as Are always, you as I was going to say, I, I was going to say, as always, Woo! the reason it's funny yeah. is the complete overreaction. To like just go, ah, oh, you guys, you little scams, you little scand- you little scoundrels. Are you saying this stuff isn't funny unless people overreact to it? <laughs> what do you mean? That's not how comedy works. <laughs> well, comedy is you do something and and it's just funny. Everybody on is its aware face. of it and they get everybody's in on the joke. Yeah, nobody's emotions are tested or teased or surprised at all. Right, people sit stone faced in the audience. We never once implemented any sort of laugh track into our entertainment in order to share the reaction to a, a piece of comedic material uh-huh. with the uh, and encourage other people to uh, also react to it. Um, so you you did think it was hilarious the grave thing? Here's the thing: it's not on its face. It's not hilarious. It's ah, hey, that's a thing a guy did, right? He put a curse on. He got no. Some he of- didn't though. He just he went. And he took a picture, and now I have people telling me, "Well, this is basically considered a federal hate crime." What you, what's happened here? This is a federal hate crime. He could be arrested. It's so if important this was, that they let yeah. everybody know it's it's a hate if crime. If this was and- Texas, you could legally kill him, as we know. And uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. Thankfully, Eric July's family is now running twenty four seven security. Security yeah. on the when he they got po- Taylor Swift's yeah. bodyguard, that IDF guy. When he it- tweeted, "Oh, don't worry, we have family and friends keeping <laughs> kinfolk." Yeah, kinfolk Hello. keeping <laughs> vigil over the grave. I didn't get. Oh, uh, did you say? Oh, uh, did you say kinfolk? Hi, Mister. Hi, Mister. I sound. Hey, you know, I heard a, uh, I heard a uh, nice uh, white boy came to my, okay. came to my uh, uh, tombstone. See, this is racist intimidation. Why is it racist this intimidation? Is what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm not what you're doing. I'm never just, in my wildest dreams would I imagine a young white man would come to my. Never when I was a child of a slave in the Reconstruction era South did I ever imagine that a young white man would come take a picture of my tombstone. Isn't that crazy? Took a picture one of the, and a, a photograph in was, your time must have cost a lot of money. Oh, I, I, yes, of course. It was a rare of piece of technology. Took a photo. Must have spent all kind of time and money. Just look yeah. below me. 
It's very exciting to get your picture taken. Going to be tickled more people. And you must be excited now that you have friends and kin folks surrounding your grave on a 24-hour uh, surveillance to they make sure. A, they got some Pokemon over my grave. A uh, geo dude, <laughs> I believe it was called. <laughs> they should make I Assume Knox's grave into an official you Pokemon know, I, site for I Pokemon I always Go. wanted to make a video game. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. I want to get on that ASAP. Well, your uh, great-great-grandson also wants to make a video game, and we discussed the upcoming ISOM video game on our newest bonus episode, The Biggest Problem in Halloween. Yeah. That'll be available by the time you are listening to this, probably on Monday. Uh, I'm going to get that shit up. Patreon.com. It might be available tonight. Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem. All right. Backed up by slash Biggest did Problem. Did I play the correct theme song for the bonus episode? Yeah, you did. Because okay. I screamed over it like a moron. All right. Are you ready to do this episode now? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank God. Thank fucking Christ. Stop with the racist intimidation. Biggest problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from neighbors being bad to dead kids making people sad. I'm your host, Dick Masters, and joining me is Vito just Hi, Dick. Dick. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Doing good. You know what? I just realized I have a clock here that I could watch to time that intro better. Well? Because I like to finish talking the intro when it fades out. I like the comments that are like 110 episodes, and they still have not figured out the audio. But oh, I think we got it now. Is that? Do they mean the audio in general, or I think the they were, theme song audio? No, just, we, just occasionally we screw up things. Uh, Guys, we do a great show here. Yeah, so check out the bonus episode, Biggest Problem in Halloween. The ISOM part's got to be, the Ripaverse part's got to be the best part of that bonus episode. We got to go back and watch the rest of that video. We'll have to do it next week. We could do it after on this show. Because so here's the thing with, with Eric. He says so many stupid things. Yeah. Like, I just want to watch everything he puts out and make fun of it. <laughs> it's so dumb and bad. And nobody is nobody is making fun of anything he does. Like everybody yeah. else in comics and like you know, like talking about pop culture shit. Which is their they, some of them it's their job to talk about comics and pop culture and make fun of it. They're vicious with everything except everything he does is dumb and funny and they say nothing. <laughs> or they say, What a genius. What a genius. <laughs> and you're yeah. like No, he's like a child. He's like Literally, the more things here, here's the. He's sued by a church. He's yeah. he's the bad guy. Okay, well that's part of it. The more stuff he says, because at first I was like, well, he's just like a regular dumb guy, uh -uh. and now I'm like, oh man, he's like an ultra not self aware dumb guy. Because anytime he's done anything dumb, everyone around him has been like, well, you're 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 a genius. You're a once in a lifetime talent. And I'm like, no, he's like an autistic kid <laughs> with like on deviant art. Coming up with endless superhero characters shit. without any connecting plot Total threads. Total dog shit. Like, oh, I'm going to make... He's a... Uh, you know that guy? Uh, who's the guy who kept making an, the Endless Runner game that was just about how high you could jump? Uh, <sighs> I don't remember God. that. He kept making a game? He was the super autistic guy. Someone in the chat's okay. going to get it. All right. And all it was was like... He really liked the idea of video games where you could jump high and he would like glit. He would play terrible games like uh, Bubsy 3D just because it had a glitch where you could jump out of bounds. Like that's all he cared about was jumping really hey, high. Hey man, jumping high is cool. <laughs> it is In cool. Marvel vs. Capcom when you could shoot up the whole thing. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? Whoa, no way. No one's ever going to hit me up here. I wish I could do this in real life. Uh, uh, uh. And I realized Eric is just like that. It's that guy. It's that I don't really care about making a good game or a good comic book. Everybody got themselves way overextended in all this. Yeah. Kissing his ass, letting this shit slide. Whew. And now some of them are... Well, here's the other thing is That's that... That's the lesson. So many of them, I think, felt... Okay. I mean, not to, like, spill tea or whatever. <laughs> but I would have guys in my DMs going, yeah. listen, I watched Dick's What do you think of my cock? And, by the way. It seems pretty reasonable. I wish Eric yeah. would listen to some of what he said. I've tried to give him this advice. He won't listen to me. Mm. Uh, and also, I can't really talk shit about him because, you know, I'm trying to make comics and I don't yeah. want to stir up waves. Well. Okay. And, uh... 
Now I guess we've emboldened people to finally t- again. The emperor is wearing no <laughs> clothes. Put that shit down. The emperor is wearing no clothes. Clothes. One kid comes out of the crowd, and goes, "Hey, look at that naked motherfucker!" And that's it. And then it's just the dreaded N word, naked. Man. Yeah, that's Got the N word that everyone is trying to avoid. Now we're on your grave. It is the guy dancing on your grave. PK Rockiness is the guy who talked about dabbing pizza with paper towels. That was <laughs> look at this. one of his uh, look at this. things. Look at this beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Did you see now you've blocked me on Twitter because you're an asshole and you yeah. should unblock me. Maybe I'll unblock you this week. Well, maybe you should. I, I posted a thing. These guys also don't realize they've become the thing they hate. The Racist. the woke people. Yeah. They're blaming everything on racism. That's racist. Yeah. I, I had a guy who was commenting. Chrissy Mayer went on the Anthony Cumia show and talked about the ISOM lawsuit. We came up briefly. It was mostly them talking about Nick Ricada. Okay. But one of the comments was don't they understand that Eric is trying to build institutional wealth as a historically disadvantaged black man? And I went, you're the social justice warrior now. <laughs> you're the guy telling is that me why we should buy his We have comics? to buy his comic because he's trying Cause he's to generate, because black people have been kept down historically and he's trying to build institutional wealth. I don't wealth. have to read it, do I? Yeah. Is, do I do I have to read it because he's black too? They're saying the reason that we hate it is because we want to stop black men from... Uh, Getting getting ahead in life. Well, um, which is only half that's, true. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> I, I gave anyone, a lot of tips for the I next don't want black guy to, get ahead to come in, in and other not than fuck me. up this badly. Um, okay, I, I kind of forgot how we did the show. I don't know why. Last week, bad neighbors. Yep. The neighbors are getting worse. Okay. No, the na- the other neighbors are you know which neighbors was I talking about? I don't know. All I know is one of the neighbors... Which neighbors blew up a hospital? Well, that's the question, isn't it? One neighbor says that uh, his bottle rocket went over the other fence. The other guy goes, you followed your own fucking bottle rocket. So, you know, I it's love been a hell it. of a 4th of July for those two neighbors. Yeah. I love the next day how everyone went, oh, it wasn't even a hospital to blow up, it was just a parking lot. Don't you guys feel dumb? And you're like, you know hospitals have parking lots, right? <laughs> Either way, something happened. Yeah, so who, but who blew up the parking lot then? Because mm. there was a bunch of people's cars there. Yeah. I mean. I think something happened. Okay. Um, pimples on your nose, second. Second, Jesus Christ. Vito, come on. GameStop. Third. Third. Counting dead kids at the very bottom. Everybody likes counting those kids. Yeah, they love it. Cause Can't you're- do anything because a kid, there might be a dead kid. Kid might die. I don't care. But then remember when... Same reason we can't have Four Loco. Same, that's what I should have brought up. We can't have Four Loco. We can't have flavored vapes. Yeah. Dead that's kid. good. That's, that's what that's I should have stuff. talked about. Uh, you could have also talked about when... How I said you don't need the government regulating stuff. And you said your first... The first thing you say every time is, well, then you could sell poison to kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm very much going against myself. I mean, look, you could have common sense things. For a kid. You remember those buckyballs you're not allowed to buy anymore? Those little magnets that were fun? Oh, yeah, because people kept, eat, kids kids kept would, eating them. Oh, supposedly, but it's like kids weren't really eating them. It's just like the idea that kids could, could eat, eat them. them. That's it. Yeah. If a kid could eat something, you can't sell it. Yeah. If it's like something that would be hard to get out of a kid. You as an adult should be able to buy things without any, what if a kid ate it? What well, if he gets stabbed himself in the eye with yeah, it? Yeah, you are. That's what I'm saying. No regulation at all. Sure. But then you're saying you could sell poison to I kids. I think poison is the one thing where I. I <laughs> why could, would that? Why I'd would a kid a eat a fucking. Why would a poison? kid eat poison? <laughs> why would people. <laughs> what is stopping people from buying poison and giving it to kids right now? The government? The point is that you can't sell poison shaped as popsicles and call it hyper sugar treat, you know? Why would someone. First of all, yes, they can. No, they That's can't. That's just a crime. <laughs> they absolutely I mean, can yeah. go make. They can commit a crime, yes. Well, then how are you stopping it? By making it, by regulating <laughs> shit. I'm just saying. Like, you think he's going to do it as a business? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Like, you would start. He'll just never going to be arrested or killed? You would. You could be an ice cream man, start an ice cream truck, and be like, I'm selling uh, super ice cream. And as long as the kid doesn't ask you what's in it, you can just be <laughs> like, oh, it's super ice cream. I didn't tell you dies. Eat, I didn't tell you to eat it, idiot. Yeah, it's d- and then for a drain cleaner. Well, and then you know people are probably really pissed at you, but they, they'll you know, kill you. 
<laughs> gonna, have you seen neighborhoods where guys are walking around with uh, trailers of, of popsicles? It's kind of a kind of a quasi lawless situation that they got it going is on down there. Quasi lawless. I guess the ice cream man could just kill kids if he wanted. Well, he couldn't though. He's a little bit. Of, I think we need a little bit Look, of the we, food and drug administration. God damn you! Just a little bit. Uh, okay, machine shop. Billy says the black the black exploitation music for Eric's grandpa should be Southern blues guitar. Mm. We've had a lot of oh. suggestions for. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Southern for great songs blues riffs. Let's mm. see if that works. Mm. Uh, the key of A. Oh hey. no! I need like what Robert about this? Johnson. Yeah. Robert Johnson. Uh, Why don't you put classic, uh, classic spirituals of a certain? No, it's got to be I mean, like. You can't put the. I can't say the <laughs> what type of spirituals. Kind of spiritual. Let's yeah. see. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Sit me down. Rock I got time to All right, all right, all right. Excellent work. Friend online's and garlic says I woke up with a pimple on my nose. Fucking hurts. Float it up. Uh, John Veal says Super Killer needs to stop Hamas. He defeated George Floyd. Can he stop he did the not killing of kids? George Floyd. That's not canon. And I keep getting shit for that. Well, you should. Why? I didn't draw it. You taught you created an environment where it's tolerable or la accepted. <laughs> wow. Well, encouraged. Yeah, I guess I guess I didn't come down on it hard enough. Yeah. I told you I got an insane phone call about that image, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Did you? Yeah. I told you privately, but I haven't talked about it on the show. Oh, okay. But basically a former friend went, and this was somebody I'd already had a falling out with because apparently I'm alt right now or whatever, mm. but they were on Twitter and for some reason somebody had retweeted this and said, look at what these uh, boys are doing to this poor black man. And they went, oh, I know that. I know that gentleman. And they, they called me up and they went, well, what, what are you doing? You, you, you're drawing, drawing comics about killing black men now? <laughs> and I went, listen. First of all, the I fentanyl need... killed them. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't say that. <laughs> I really was like, I knew this was going to be hard to explain to somebody, and you're the person who it's going to be hard to explain to. And uh, they didn't buy it. They did not buy my explanation where that I went. That somebody else did it? Well, I went. What do they look like? Let's draw a picture of them doing it. Yeah. I went, well, the reason that it exists is specifically to upset me. Yeah. Because of how much I find the imagery distasteful mm. as, a, as a liberal person who does not like the killing of George Floyd. And they're like. I still think you're racist. I'm like, well, what are you going to do? Well, yeah, because it was a good test. Like, let's see what Vito values more, his liberal politics or his sense of humor. I mean, and the I, sense of humor won. I get, and that's why, I get why it's funny. It's funny because it hurts me inside. Okay? I get it. And I've wa I've rewatched the clip of when we first brought it up on the show. You were laughing, dying. I was laughing. I was dying. Yeah. I was like, please. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I was like, seen. please take it off the screen. I can't deal with this. Okay? Because that's how effective it was. Uh, but now you've convinced this. So crazy. maybe he would team up. You say Super Killer would team up with Hamas. You, you're saying? No, I didn't say he that. He would be in a paraglider, maybe in a music festival. It's not. It's not a thing. Because like the ultimate hero is like love. And Super like, Killer supports the state of Israel. That is canon. But what if it's a multiverse, right? Maybe Israel's evil in another, yeah. Oh, that's, I wasn't even going to say that. That's amazing. <laughs> you mean, think Israel could be evil in another dimension? <laughs> How could you tell? What would they be, what would Israel be doing in a dimension where they were evil? It would be pretty bad if I started off an issue of the comic book and it's like, what universe is this? It's like, oh, it's one of the, the one many where, universes where, where Israel evil. is an evil We call it superpower. Earth Prime. <laughs> Oh, this is Earth One, where Israel is. Oh my Christ! Oh, what did they do in this universe? <laughs> we call they it. Invented, we they call invented. They invented compound Earth interest. God damn it! <laughs> That's horrible. Um. Okay. All right. Mystic Marbles says I enjoy the Eric July drama more than the Maddox drama. Maddox wow. only has so many resources and ways to act retarded. Eric has millions of dollars, a bunch of zealot followers, a shitty self-insert comic, and he's easily baited into arguing with his enemies directly, which Maddox never had the guts to do. The black gem is really getting bigger. Also, in I Saw Him 2, he's pissed because they burned down his warehouse. I sh that's right. Yeah, they burned <laughs> down part of his uh, business thing. Yeah. Which we would never do. Scouts we would never honor. do. Um, I was going to say, also, I thought it kind of seemed like Eric was... Uh, Finally accepted the idea that I should stop fighting the trolls, 
Yeah. But then I see him on Twitter and he's doing the same. Like somebody comments under it and they're like, "How's your warehouse?" She's like, "My warehouse is fine. Everything's fine with my warehouse." I'm like, "Just ignore these fucking people. It's crazy." He had a whole stream on why it's it's you shouldn't in- ignore trolls. Right. And he had then- a whole stream on how it's basically. The situation he's going through is directly oh, comparable God, yeah. to the Israel-Palestine conflict. Oh, my God. Not, I don't think we've talked about that. No, we haven't. No. She's just so much dumb shit every day. <laughs> you can't keep track. Dude, I feel you like can't keep track of I, the dumb shit he says. It's like impossible. I fuck I swear to God. I feel like in Demolition Man when they bring Wesley Snipes back from yeah. freezing and everybody is a pussy. That's how I feel every day when Air Slide does something dumb and nobody says anything. I'm like, nobody's gonna do anything about this. It's all mine. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta bring up the Hama, the uh, the Israel Palestine clip. You have to do it. We do quick. it at the end. We can do it at the end. Let's do it at the end because I gotta search around for it. I don't wanna. Yeah, you don't wanna hold it down. <sighs> yeah, but uh, do that it is end. that is this man. Is that he's he's an expert wordsmith. He goes, well, here's my take on Israel Palestine. I've had a similar situation with my warehouse, and you're like, I can't believe. I, oh no! I cannot believe <laughs> that any man would compare what's going on. Whatever. I want to get five rabbis in a room and sit them down, and then play yeah. them the clip of. So, what did you? What do you think here? So, five hundred Palestinian saying? children are dead. You had a man tape money to your warehouse. I said rabbis, the not parallels or whatever. Not mullahs or whatever they are. The parallels are undeniable, Dick. Um. Ty Spence says, uh, my school has a Palestinian foreign exchange student who got a call on Friday that tomorrow her parents and siblings would be killed because they're going to be bombed because the roads are too obstructed while others are trying to leave since Egypt uh, closed their border. Vito thinking they could just leave is probably the stupidest take he's ever had. Okay, they can't just leave, but they can go south. What's south of the... No, like they can Gaza. be because they're they're the. Oh, they could be the south end. Yeah, Israel said they could all squish over. <laughs> I mean, that's what Israel's saying. They're saying we're going to bomb all the shit in the north, so go south. Okay, you can get out of the way. Yeah, they're not going to bomb the south part. Yeah, uh, have you seen the the kosher light switch? How? What's that? Um, I, there's not enough time for me to get okay. into it. Um, <clears throat> Jesus Christ! Uh, no, no, no. Uh, this is okay. all going to be about how I don't understand the I mean, geopolitics a lot, a lot of, of Israel and Palestine. A lot of it's negative on Just leave you. the Jews alone. That's it. That's the bottom line. Mm-hmm. If you don't paraglide into their fucking playland, yeah. they'll leave you alone. What if they're in your house? Well, it ain't your house what anymore, you got- then. <laughs> 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 You're, is it like haunt, a haunting? It's that classic joke. A Jew walks into a house and says, this is mine. My house. <laughs> This is mine now. Uh, Pure Pure Radio says, Vito, ignore all the people saying you're low energy. Fatigue is a common symptom of diabetes. You shouldn't be ashamed. I don't have diabetes. Yeah, a lot of people were saying I was low energy on the last show, which I I think I was. A little bit. But I'm back on a proper sleep schedule, so. Uh, Cody's. At least I didn't cry. Cody's 71111 says, everyone should block Lofty. I agree. Everyone should, everyone block Lofty. I haven't blocked Lofty. Hashtag block Lofty Pixels and never unblock him. Lofty agrees with me on uh, Shadowversity being a bad AI artist, though, so I have to respect him there. That guy, Shadowversity, he's like a... Psychopath. He's retarded. Uh, He's a weird Mormon guy who likes playing with swords, and he made an entire video about how AI art... Well, let's be clear. AI art is very cool, and I like playing around with it. Yeah. But he made an entire a video about how people making AI art are the same as real artists, and we need to respect what they're doing. And he, to, to make this point, he made an entire video about how he made his wife into Supergirl. But the thing is, if you yeah. watch the video, he's like, see, I had to take it. And then you you fucked around with AI art. You can, like, draw stuff on top of it, and then it'll change that. Or you can, like, you know, yeah. erase stuff. Yeah. And he's saying the amount of time it took him to draw stuff on top of it and erase stuff makes him a real artist. And uh, it just still looks like dog shit. Well, and it's obviously, like, his wife. Yeah, he's like kind of like a he said. I have to train face. a model on your my wife's face, which takes what twenty pictures, I think, to train a model. Yeah, it's weird. It's so weird you plug twenty that out. pictures of your wife's face in AI art, and you said make my wife into Supergirl, and it looks like dog shit. Well, that's the problem. Like, yeah, yeah. AI, I'm sure, is like a great tool for um, yeah. artists, but you're like a retarded person, so it's not art. When well, you that's do it. the problem is that he's not an artist. So, like me, I have like a lot of graphic design training. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, the actual image he generated, 
because he had this video. Go to his web. Go to his video. Wait, 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 I want to show you. He was arguing with people in one of my things about how it's actually a a, a realistic pose. Oh, never mind. I can't find it right now. Go to his go website to real. Or uh, you want to find yours still? Nah. Point is that the the image he spent twenty minutes. Go to his. Go to What's his, his website. Uh, just go at the top to his profile, and it'll give you his YouTube okay. channel. Uh, YouTube.com. So he made an entire 20 minute video about how he's this incredible hey guys, AI artist get- now. Okay. And all the comments are ripping him apart because they're like, <laughs> you're a moron. A love letter to AI art. Yeah. Okay. So skip. Art <laughs> first of all, to me. Ever this since is, okay, first of all, this is his art, which is all, it all looks like it's, it looks fucking retarded. terrible. It looks like shit. Yeah. He can't draw <laughs> to begin with. But he's always drawing these like. Skinny girl, dude, like super, like, like unrealistic anatomy fuck? bullshit. And then look, he plugs it into AI art. So like, he's all excited. Go back a little bit. He's like, look, the one where he has two of them on the screen. He goes, look, it took my <laughs> dog shit picture and it made it into this AI looking dog shit. And you're like, those both look fucking terrible. It's like really like hyper fetishized though. He's yes. got 1.7 million weird people following this shit. Yeah, because they're oh, all like medieval no. swords and shit. Here, give me the mouse real quick. Oh, okay, because I've, I've watched this video. This video is like, so first of all, he can't draw. And he goes, I, I think he says, well, I drew this in high school, so that's why it's dog shit. But look, I put it in AI and it made it incredible. And you're like, no, it still sucks. Looks this like is shit. still bad. Yeah. So then he goes, I want to make oh. a cool Supergirl picture, right? Uh huh. So he has to generate this, which you're like, yeah, that's kind of cool, I but guess. But the AI did it. The AI like, did it. Anybody could do that. Yes, you just plugged in a prompt, right? Yeah. But then he goes in Good to the image. It. And he starts like fucking around with it and he goes, I don't like that the shoulders are so broad. So he shrinks her shoulders in and you're like, no, this, this is correct proportions. <laughs> it already spit it out with correct human proportions. You're yeah. actually just making it worse. So because he shrunk the shoulders in and he pasted his wife's giant fucking football helmet head on top. <laughs> Look at how big her fucking head is compared to the rest of her. That's wrong. Her head is fucking gigantic. It's just so weird. It's like when Peter Griffin cut out a picture of himself and pa- yes. pasted it on his wedding photo. And look, the sun is back here. So how is the sun also in front of her completely well, illuminated? Dude, it's, I mean, it's I'm going, dog I'm going to- shit. It's terrible. And Because he, he's not an artist, you can't tell. Look, the fucking Superman logo is all crooked. It's not even, like, straight on. Yeah. And he literally says... Can, can we get, can we get, oh, let me see if he says it. He goes, look at this piece, this masterpiece. Or as to how beautiful this image is. <laughs> the lighting, the movement, the flow of the hair, cape and cloth, the design of the outfit, the finer details, the metallic sheen. <laughs> the and design. Yes, the design. Out at you. And of course, it's Supergirl's it outfit. face of my wife. The beautiful <laughs> now let's just compare. The- it looked better when it was like a fucking anime lady. You like you actually made, made it worse. It uncanny cuz yeah. you put a real human face that's all stretched out like Modok on Dude, a yeah. sex waifu that you had a computer make for you. It's and it looks like bad cosplay. It looks like a fucking party city fucking co- Anyway, here, let me uh, sh- that let guy's, me try to find the one that he did. That he did? Yeah, it's so funny. And you didn't do it. Like you being like I wanted to have gold piping, so I very quickly like a fucking amateur drew some like yellow lines yeah, on top yeah. of it so the AI yeah. would reinterpolate it or whatever. Uh-huh. It's like yeah, I could have done that in about 2 seconds. Uh, it takes zero effort to do this. Damn it. That's going to be too hard for me. Oh, there it is! Yes! So this is what he's arguing with all my, you know, my guys, yes. racist intimidators, that this is a natural pose, and then he made, he did the pose. <laughs> Look, he's got this Why ball. would you ever hold a sword like that? What is the... And the <laughs> thumb is over the... Bl- oh, it's my like, God. It's like a legitimate, like, sword move, because, like, when you're doing swords, you got to, like, poke at the weak spots. Like, it's not just about sword fighting, yeah. but it's... For, I mean, first of all, it's not... The, the little he didn't anime match girl the pose thing. either. No, it's not, no, it's not matched at all. But secondly, <laughs> his fucking face. Look at his face. Here, you got to scroll it over so they can see it. <laughs> Look, dude, AI art is cool. It's cool to plug words into a thing and have it come out. But you have to have the basic level of artistic training to look at something and go, oh, well, that's fucked. I can't use that at all. This pose is the most unnatural, stupid looking thing. And my wife's giant fucking head looks incorrect. On this terrible superhero body that I've pointlessly shrunk in the shoulders. Uh, okay. Anyway, Shad, you're a true artist. God bless your heart. Yeah. Uh, God just bless your stick wife. Stick to playing Jesus. with swords. Yeah, Poor you'll woman. be happy. <clears throat> Only she has her husband to uh, complain about woke Disney and 
make terrible AI art. Yeah. All right. Um, so you won. Do you have anything you want to? Oh, yeah. There's a segment that I kind of like. Okay. And I like to call this segment "Voting Out." Hmm. Calming. Wow. Wow. Are you going to the biggest problem? Oh. <laughs> Cats, Q-tips, and Eric July. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Remember to uh-huh. hold up Vito's Twitter. Yes. No. Do it. Or he'll kill your whole family. <laughs> I will do that. That will happen. All right. That's uh, that beautiful. Biggest fan in the world, he says. I don't okay. know if that's his real name. Put your okay. name on the MP3s, you guys. <laughs> that's the biggest problem. Well, Dick, I have a very special voted up this week. Oh, good. Okay. Because I have two news stories on the same problem. Mm. And this problem comes all the way from episode one of the show. Can you believe it? No. Wow. Well, that problem, Dick, that's one I think you'll be interested in, is Pokemon card scalpers. Okay. Two I remember story. those. You yeah. do remember those. Yeah. Well, you would have thought it's been two years since we did that problem. You would have thought it would have stopped by now, <clears throat> but it hasn't. Real mm. quick, while I'm telling this story, why don't you Google Pikachu in gray hat? Okay. Because this past week, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam had to stop giving out Pokemon cards inspired by Van Gogh after fans of the game caused a frenzy in the gift shop and resellers positioned themselves outside the building. Oh, you fuckers. Dude, actually, real quick, see if you can uh, look for the video of this. So there was a table with all this Pokemon fucking merchandise. Right. And the second the fucking thing opens, they all ran it. Dude, it's a feeding frenzy of people grabbing every fucking Pokemon thing they possibly can. Hit the videos tab up there. Uh And you'll probably be able to find it. Shoot. Just hit back. Hit back. All right. Just give me the fucking mouse. No, no, no. I can't do that. Let that one? Yeah, that yeah. That one? I don't know. One of them. Oh, Holly. You said videos. There is a video Good of it. I should have brought it well, up. Good morning. Uh, I don't want to hear oh, this fucking right. jackass it, talking it, it, over it. All right. Well, there is a video of this feeding frenzy. I should have brought it up ahead of time. Is it that one? That one's only 56 An seconds. Exclusive Pikachu yeah, here. Part. You can see it. Just turn off his fucking audio. So you, this guy, why is it always a good guy talking over it? Just show it. As you can see, this is the Van Gogh Museum. Which again had special cards in the image of Pikachu, the beloved mascot <laughs> oh, yeah, the of swarm. the Pokemon. You, dude, they in like oh my god, ten seconds. Museum? These cocksuckers took everything. This is in Amsterdam again. I hate that poor people have museums. Poor people, yeah, people. Like, oh, they're, just, they're public museums. Yeah. It should all just be rich people having the, the yeah. art. Well, they don't the deserve it. most uh, obtained item because they did have various uh, Van Gogh Pokemon items, but of course the Pokemon card. Uh, which is based on Van Gogh's 1887 work, Self Portrait with Gray Felt Hat. Yeah. His Pikachu with uh, Gray Felt Hat can now go on eBay for as much as $600. Cool. Because of the chaos, the museum says we had to make the difficult decision to no longer make the special Pikachu promo card available in the museum. Mm. So that is Pokemon Scalpers <laughs> Gone Wild. Yeah. But it doesn't stop there. <laughs> okay. Dick, did you hear this story where a Florida GameStop worker has been charged with manslaughter after fatally shooting a shoplifter who tried to steal Pokemon oh, cards? Oh, yeah, that made me think of you. <laughs> it also made me think of me. <laughs> the man snatched five boxes of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Ultra Premium cards. That's a $600 value, $120 wow. per gift set. Okay. And ran for the door. Derek Guerrero, <laughs> 33, pulled a handgun from his waistband and shot, hitting the man in the side. Mm-hmm. The man drew, uh, was driven to the hospital by his waiting accomplice where he died from his injuries. Uh, died several hours later. That GameStop worker, again, now charged with manslaughter, as it appears that the shoplifter, again, you can't shoot a fleeing man. Even in Florida, this was in Florida. Oh, wow. Apparently, you can't. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, I thought you can just aerate people if they commit some sort of minor crime (laughs) of some sort. Yeah. Uh, Or not a crime, even. Just goofing around. Just shoot people. Why Mm -hmm. not? Like happened at GameStop. Dick, Pokemon card scalpers, currently number 342 with only 138 upvotes. 
I'm going to say based on this recent news. Vote it up. Vote it up. Mm. Now let's take a trip. Are you going to the biggest, biggest problem? problem? Cat Q-tips <laughs> and Eric July. Remember to vote up Vito's Twitter. guy how is he why would you ever take that pose it's not useful for anything it's like showing off why your would you sword? start with that one if you were gonna do a pose why would you start with the goofiest most awkward pose and then turn yourself into a little anime girl i mean i'll have to save this problem for another show but guys who got big on youtube for doing something stupid uh -huh. Thinking that they're a unique once in a lifetime talent oh, yeah. that anything they touch turns to gold. Yeah. Just accept your limitations. There's some things you're good at. <sighs> complaining about Marvel, complaining about Disney. Yeah. Showing off your collection of sure. stupid uh, replica swords. Mm -hmm. And there's some things that you're dog shit at, like making pictures of your wife to beat off to because you're weird. Superman. Okay. As Supergirl. <laughs> at least for give some her big reason. tits, you know? Why would you want to ruin your, like, I would never put my girlfriend's face on, like, Tifa Lockhart's body. Right. It's going you know? ruin Tifa Lockhart. <laughs> yeah, why don't I? Yeah, why ruin That's that? That's our special time. That's, I don't our... wanna... <laughs> That's Tifa time. Yeah, I don't want to you... involve any other ladies. You fucking weird freak. Why super? Why do you love your wife so much? Are you gay? Who are you, gay? Also, if you're so good at AI art, couldn't you, like, invent, like, a superhero character for your wife? No, you have to rely on the fact that well, somebody no, because... has already plugged in what a supergirl yeah. is. Yeah, because there's so tons you don't, of... So you don't actually have the creativity to come up with a new thing and train a model on that. You have to go to something that already exists that the, the yeah. other programmers have provided you. Okay, here's my problem. Yes. Um, I don't know what to call it, really. Mm. It's IRL. It's uh, histrionic uh, Zoomers. IRL histrionics. And histrionic millennials and Zoomers yeah. um, that uh, apparently uh, uh, interacting in IRL is like um, it's the illegal. worst thing. It's, it's illegal. illegal to do that. It's illegal. You got <clears throat> Maddox with his garbages. You remember that? I've heard that story. Somebody what took happened? Pictures Someone of took his pictures garbages, of his garbage. Yeah. And he said, my garbages. Right. Where somebody took pictures of my garbages. Something who knows what could happen with those pictures. Who knows? Uh Riley's putting money on people's doors. Eric right. and his Eric and his millions of fans are gonna shoot him. Someone going to a gravestone, taking a picture of that. It's just uh maybe there's a skeleton there. Right. Probably not, honestly. They probably just dumped him in the ground. Right. Put him in a little plywood box. You're not allowed to go to public places, Dick. That's the point. On the internet you can do whatever you want. Right. It's fine. Right. Leak, D, leak DMs, do whatever you want. But if you, but if you so leave your home, there's some sinister intent there. Even if you even if you peek your head out, if you have in your mind that you might see the other person that right. you're dealing with. Someone you don't like, you might see. Uh, basically, then you should be killed. <laughs> Especially if you're like that sniper wolf wolf girl. Yeah. I know I have you, you blocked on Twitter right now, but I saw that you had a, a big argument with a, a famous person. About that she well, should well semi I don't know semi famous some YouTube people that uh, this this poor girl with huge tits went to somebody's drove by somebody's house yeah like everyone has done when, when I was in junior high everyone did all the time you know sure uh, and I guess she should be killed well she I guess Hamas should kidnap her and rape her because yeah. she drove by someone's house and took a picture she took a picture and she posted it online which we all know is illegal. <sighs> As I've been told by numerous people, all of them. that fits the definition of California's cyber stalking law is to yeah. go to someone's house and take a picture of it with no identifying information or address or street name. Wouldn't matter. Or None anything. of that shit would no, matter. No, it does not matter. It's not illegal I, I, I to do that. I can't even argue with it. Yeah. When people go like, well, you know, and it That's is. Cyber it's, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. I go. No, it's rude. Nobody likes it, but it's if I hate nothing. Barbara Streisand, I can still take a picture of her house. And I can post in the line, and I can say, this is Barbara Streisand's house. And I can even say, I hate this stupid bitch Barbara Streisand. Look at her stupid house. And that's not illegal. 
This is literally what the Streisand effect is. You know, the Streisand effect is literally about a picture of a house, right? Oh, it is? Yes. I didn't know that. The Streisand effect is about the fact that somebody took, like, a picture of her house. Yeah. Which is... You can see it from like the California coastline. You can just go, there's her house. It's in space. <laughs> yeah. And they took a picture of it. And yeah. Barbara Streisand said, You can't do that. I've hired a firm oh. to scrub the internet of pictures of my house and issue takedowns and get oh. all the pictures of my house taken down. Yeah. And the government and people said, Legally, you can't do that, so we're going to spam pictures of your house everywhere to show you that you have no legal yeah, right no, like, to prevent to people from taking pictures of your house. Well, that's funny because I, I would say my first reaction is or to your say, warehouse. <laughs> or your warehouse. My first reaction is to say, wouldn't shouldn't people know that? But then I think, well, they do. Like Eric July knows that this other guy that Sniper Wolf showed up at, they know it. They just cry about being pretend vic- It's like pretend victimization. Like I was almost raped. I was because almost killed. Yeah, I, was, I could be killed at any moment. You posted that picture of my house. A crazy person could come and uh, rape me. Right. Uh, who's that guy that said he was... Oh, you... Oh, shit, I have you blocked. Um, Which guy? Hold on. You can unblock me on Twitter. Okay, I'll unblock probably you probably facilitate I'll, the show right, I'll faster. You now. <laughs> Instead, I'm like, hey, I'd like to send Dick this information for this. Oh, I'm blocked. Never mind. Hold on. I'll unblock you right now. You're I know right. it was like a fun joke, but I, I went home and I'm like, well, he'll unblock me at some point during this week. Uh, look, this guy threatened to rape me. Because I said it was dumb uh, that that's that oh, everyone yeah. was no, freaking out. No, I know out. who was rich. Uh, what's his name? Review RT, Tech Review USA. Tech USA. He said, he said, I'm definitely going. Is it okay if I come to your house and put your dick in my mouth? And then Yeah, he threatened to rape his himself. mouth. Me. Yeah. I was being raped because right. my- Forcible I'm oral not, sex on you. Yeah, he's raping me with his mouth on my dick. And I thought, that's a pretty odd- did I talk about this on the show where Review Tech USA is the same guy who uh, found out his daughter is going blind? And I okay. said, you should probably take some time off to deal with that. And he said, oh, yeah. no, I'm going to like really sink myself into my projects <laughs> and apparently argue on Twitter about sucking off dick. Raping me. And I want to be very clear. I'm not mocking this guy for the family tragedy he's having. his daughter couldn't see this tweet. I just think, That's all I'm shut saying. The fuck up. Don't make <laughs> any jokes about it, okay? Would you want your daughter to see your dad well, threatening this is to not, rape I a man's my penis dad. with his mouth? I wouldn't want her, my daughter to see <laughs> no. that. She doesn't know Braille yet, I hope. So she's not going to read it with her fingers. What is wrong I'm with this? I'm not touching any of this. I'm <laughs> not. I don't want to be raped. I'm the victim. <laughs> I do agree that this is not, if I was going through a family tragedy, I would not be fighting with Dick Masters on Twitter about whether or not I'm going to put his dick in my mouth. Forcibly. Right. Uh, he says, I said cry about it. Oh, no, a hot girl went to a house. He goes, let me She's a good looking lady. Oh, I'm, man. I'm, I'm so would... tired of all these people being like, she's an ugly skank. I'm like, now you're definitely lying. You could say she's like a bitch. She's clearly a bitch and an a or whatever, and she's apparently stealing YouTube content to react to. Fine, you can be mad about that, but oh man, you can't say. If Sniper Wolf came to my house, I'd, I prefer I would, her to put my dick in her mouth than Review Tech USA. I'll say that. Oh man, I would put a, I would put a some shoes on a fishing line, no, cast it out in nice the street, shoes. lure her in. That's how you get them. Lure her in. I would be in bed. Yeah, munching on blue chews. <laughs> I'll reel her ass right <laughs> in. on blue shoes. Well, for and those then, of you listening to the audio version of the podcast, this tweet from Review Tech, Tech USA responding to Dick says, well, why don't you let me show up at your house uninvited, yeah. show millions of Instagram followers where you live, and see if you have the same reaction. I'll even suck your dick just like you want Sniper Wolf to. Does that still hit the same, you fucking idiot? <laughs> no. What the f- What? What? At what point are you going through? I'm going to insult the shit out of this guy by telling him I'll even suck, I'll your, even dick. suck your dick. That's how I feel Again, about Again, I think this guy needs to take a little break from the internet. <laughs> That's how I feel about all these guys crying about like IRL anything. Mm. Like you guys are so amped up on violence that you just you can't be uncomfortable even for a second. Like nobody wants nobody wants weirdos showing up at their house. Yeah, but you can just go First of all, if weirdos Showed up at your house. This is somebody he knows. It's somebody he's been feuding with. It's not a stranger. He has his house address. 
his house business address, address is a address. registered business address. So literally, everyone's like, oh, that's so creepy. How'd she get there? And I went, well, you can just go Googled on Google it. and Google Jack's Films LLC, and it's literally the top result. So... Again, it's a public business address that anyone can find. People yeah. are saying, well, you could take the picture of the house and you could reverse geotag it and plug it into a thing and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's an address. or you could go on Google and search for it and find it in two seconds. Yeah. Or you can, you know, go to the Department of Records or whatever and go, hi, I would like the registered business address for Jack Films LLC because it is a public, because it is a business and all business addresses need to be public by the nature of law. His address is not sacred. I don't like that. But Neither is any celebrity's address. There are tours in L.A. where you get in a car and yeah. they take you to celebrities' houses. And even if you don't like the celebrities and wish harm upon them in your mind, it's still not legal. Or it's still not illegal for you to go out in front of their house and go, there's Jack Black's house. I hate that <laughs> motherfucker. I and mean, then post it on Instagram for everybody to know. I hate this motherfucker. Look at that motherfucker's house. That's not illegal. You can hate a guy and take a picture of his house and tell people that you hate him and his house. Well, you can like It does not fit the definition of cyber stalking. There's all these layers of it that are just wrong. Uh, including this whole like like you're going through these steps of finding someone's home. Yeah. But it's just like it's outside. Like it's, it's a public street. It's, even like Bin Laden, it wasn't yeah. like a private residence, you know? You, okay. You have to find out Right. Everyone is like on Earth. There's no, like, secret pocket dimension with a code that you have to get. It's, it's not like your email, you know? You're, like, outside yeah. in the air. Uh, now, I'm sure people are already maybe in the chat or whatever, because I've been surprised at how many people are like, no, that's cyber stalking. That's doxing. It's illegal. She should go to jail. She should she have should her entire shot. YouTube channel removed. Yeah. Yeah. She deserves the just death like penalty. Riley. And I'm like, guys, you can say, just say it's really rude what she did, and I don't mm -hmm. approve of it. That's fine. Because really, what you guys are doing is way more annoying. Thing. Yeah. Like, we want to take away all our money. And so I'm like, well. Well, that's the thing. If you just said, like, I want her reputation to suffer, I'd go, that is fair. That's fine. It's fair that you want people to think lower of her. Mm -hmm. To say, I want YouTube to step in and take all her money away forever, I'm like, mm. I don't want that don't want to that. happen. Yeah. That sounds like that. Now can you're the bad That guy. sounds like that cancel culture thing that you guys keep claiming you're against. But then anytime you identify a target, which is easy because everybody hates them at that point in time, you go, well, no, we can cancel them. We can take all their money away. Yeah, because somebody else could show up at their house yeah. and rape their dicks with their mouth. Just say, I don't like this lady, and I think what she did was very rude. I hate that, that she's getting away That was very rude what she did. Yeah. I'm mad at how rude. I know it's not illegal, but it's very rude. But they don't want to be rude, because then they feel pathetic. Well, that's, that's like what church ladies are. Like, well, I'm not... I'm not just rude. I'm like I'm like standing up for like common good and I'm like protecting somebody's yeah. life and a family and kids. It's not that I just don't like people who are rude cuz that's <laughs> gay and lame. like that's like the lamest possible thing ever. So that's not me. Yeah. I'm protecting kids. Anyone could have done anything, Dick. Same with Eric July's warehouse. Anyone yeah. could have and seen his grave. that where yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what they, it's all slippery slope arguments. That's the problem, is that they all go, yeah, I know nothing happened this time. But you could imagine. But what if a guy came back with a machine gun? It's like, well, what if he doesn't, though? And what logically, how does this logically lead? That's yeah. what they said about the warehouse. They're like, well, this is just the first step towards a mass shooting event. And I go, lead me through the steps of how a guy goofing around and putting money on Eric July's door then leads to somebody with a, nobody wants to kill Eric July, I'm pretty sure. And anyone who does want to kill Eric July, it's probably like a weird, stupid, moronic fantasy that they will never actually act out upon him. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're <laughs> out there. We don't know. But a logical human being can say, even if there's somebody out there who hates Eric July and wishes doesn't harm matter. upon him. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't All matter. All there's like the things they're trying to throw at you. It's like, what if something like, I don't, it doesn't matter. That shit doesn't matter. That's crazy that you think like that. That's, that's how women. That's how women think themselves into so much insane shit. Yeah. Well, what if you know? What I if? need to. I need to put my keys in my hands because what if there's a guy hiding under my car and he cuts right. my Achilles tendon? Like, yeah, is that how you live in your brain all the time? It's not how. That's not the correct way to live. All situations contain some element of danger. Why go outside? Somebody might just yeah ride, drive up in a car and shoot you in the head for fun, but you still go outside. Why do you even drive a car? Every time you get on the highway, you're theoretically taking your life in your own hands. More yeah. people die in a car, but you still get in your car and drive everywhere. You can't live life according to this weird what-if scenario. Yeah. Especially when it's so ridiculous as 
posting a picture of someone's house on Instagram is a direct pathway to crazy people showing up and murdering his entire family. I don't buy it. You no, can't even give, you can't give me <laughs> any examples of that ever happening in history. Doesn't matter. There has never been any example of someone posting a house on Instagram and saying, "Oh, I don't like that guy," and then a bunch of people murdering them. And you're right, even if it did happen, doesn't it doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter. It's just dumb. Yeah. Uh, I saw it with I saw the same thing with um, with Isom's grave. Yes. Where guys were either going, well, this is how it starts, and then the next thing you know... They're smashing the grave to de into pieces. The, no, the ne next thing you know is people are murdering each other. I'm like, well, um... I think there's a couple steps in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, why are you guys all pretending like that you're, uh, you're in a Warren G's hot, like we're regulators? You're not. You're comic book nerds. Because the most valuable currency in the modern market is victimhood. Yeah. We yeah, yeah. We only want to buy products from people who are victims. We only want to. Is that it? Is it just a victim complex? Is that my problem? Yeah. This acceleration of this. Uh, I mean, absurd... it's, it's a part of it. It's a part of that problem. Is that people? Because that's the thing. I, I don't. I mean, this guy's threatening to suck my dick. I don't think just it, to stop me. I don't think Eric July thinks anyone's going to burst into his warehouse and kill him. I don't think Jack's Films actually believes that no. a picture of his house getting posted means he has a rational reason to fear for his safety. I think all these guys know, hey, if I'm the victim, I make more money. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. get all this attention. Sometimes people are actually victims, like when we went to Netflix and someone smashed your head into a ball. Yeah. And that, you're legally, like, you genuinely- I cried less over that than these guys are. Well, that's the other problem, is that we're idiots, because we could have cashed in way harder on that, but we, like, have mm. some weird morals where we're like, well, we can't play this up too hard. I, mean, I don't. I tried, yeah. but what are you gonna, people don't care. People don't they care. They only care because they want to abuse this woman. Well, you want to be the- Well, <laughs> they collectively want to beat up a hot woman because they can't fuck her. I get it. I hate- when those, when that Hamas shit happened, I'm like, well, I'll take that. I think you know, of a guy. Part went, of me, part of me, not all of me. I think of a guy went to uh, did this thing. There would be far less outrage. Yeah, but uh, who knows? Do you think Sniper Wolf will see this and fuck us? Yeah, me. Well, but, yeah, us. Okay, I'll take. I us. hope that she. Yeah, that's all I really want. That's, that's really all I'm doing. <clears throat> People keep saying that she's not gonna fuck me, but I think she's seeing that she didn't so say many no, times. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think she's definitely gonna fuck me. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> Fucking shit. Look, again, and I know everybody's mad, and they're like, but she stole people's content, and it was mean what she did. Sure. I don't care. Say she's a rude bitch. She's been demonetized for a period of time. Take that victory to the hole or whatever. But wanting to take away her entire channel and wanting to ruin her life. It's just so annoying. Over a, a five-second incident where she drove by a guy's house and took a picture is frankly evil, I'm going to say. I don't want to take away somebody's entire life for that. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think that's reasonable. Yeah, and uh, if she had posted his actual address, I would almost be there with you. Like, what the fuck? Why are you doing that? What did you want to happen? I know. Yeah. But taking a picture of his house, I can't get there. I just don't care. About I'm not any there of it. for the life ruination. <laughs> um. Okay, so that's my problem. What a problem, Dick. Vic, I, vict, uh, victim complexes. Victim I don't know. Maybe that's complexes. it. Victim complexes. You'll see. Well, Dick, I've got a little story for you. It was my birthday recently? Yeah. What, what would you say about that? How do you feel? Say happy birthday is what oh, I was. Happy, oh, oh. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. Don't forget you at home can super chat your birthday wishes yeah. as well. Well, happy birthday to me. A and we late. Went, whatever. It's what was couple, your actual birthday? A couple days ago. Uh, we went to a German restaurant. Very tasty. Uh -huh. Had ourselves a, a meal. But uh, one thing about that restaurant, parking kind of sucks in that area, right? Yeah. Did you find a decent parking spot? No. Yeah. Sucks. I know exactly. I fucking, I <laughs> thought of this problem yesterday when I was in that area. And I stole area. it from you? No. <laughs> when I was driving by that place, yeah. going to Pilates, I swear to God, I know exactly what you're going to fucking say. Because every time I go there, yeah. there's this gigantic, yep. empty Bank of America parking yep. lot. There's probably 60 empty spaces just sitting there. Aiken, a giant, empty piece of land where people could be parking their cars and going to all the neighborhood attractions. There's bars, there's restaurants in that area. Mm -hmm. But you're not allowed to park there. No. Because we live in a society. Dick, my problem is unused parking lots. Yeah. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. 
Now, did you know that parking takes up one third of land area in all U.S. cities? I did know that. Nationwide, there are an estimated eight parking spaces for every car. We have so many fucking parking lots. You know the, and you're not allowed to use them. <laughs> the uh, the creator of Sim City. Yeah, I was wa- listening to this interview up with him, right. and they said, "Well, what do you do to make it like more realistic?" He goes, "Well, honestly, we can't because it would just be parking lots." Yes. That's what the game would be. The game would just be parking lots, yeah. the game. And not even parking lots that are being used. That's the fucking insane thing about it, is that they're all private property. And instead of being like, okay, the bank closes at five. After five, the parking lot is now usable yeah, just to the be cool. general public. Yeah. Yeah, don't cause any trouble, don't break any windows or whatever else. But clearly... We should allow people to use this. There's got to be like an Airbnb for parking for that. Yes, there needs to be. I get so angry every time I'm right down the street from there. Every time I go to Pilates, there is an East Bank that's mm. on the other side of the Bank of America because the Bank of America is open then. But yeah. the East Bank doesn't open till like 11. But they have a fucking security guard to make sure no one to parks make sure there. nobody parks there. So I have to go an additional block over to park at Whole Foods. Dude, Which doesn't have that. That's so, it's like. It's so aggravating. How has this never been solved? This is like a s- obvious problem. Why does it even need to be solved? Because people, if they parked there, if they allowed it, they would fuck it up. Be yeah. like, oh, well, we got a full parking lot and nobody, well, everybody's gone. a bunch of people would park their RVs and start living there. Yeah. Uh, that's a whole separate issue. Dick, with rapid post-World War II development and explosion in car ownership, cities and towns across the U.S. introduced minimum parking requirements in the 1950s. These are zoning ordinances that required all new businesses to include off-street parking lots. Those mandates remain nearly universal across America. So every building now has a fucking parking lot that you're not allowed to use. (laughs) Like, who comes up with that? When you come up How with- How about handicap parking, too? Yes! Never used. Never used. Okay? When you come up with the rule that every building needs a parking lot, you also need to come up with the rule that, and anyone can, <laughs> can use, use it. it. It doesn't just sit there unused. Uh, zoning laws typically require one parking space per apartment. That makes sense. 300 square feet of commercial for each- uh, One parking lot per 300 square feet of commercial development- and one parking spot per 100 square feet for restaurants. That means that a typical restaurant's parking lot is three times the size of the dining area. Great. Just giant fucking empty parking lots. And parking, how is this not solved in L.A.? Like, you would think L.A. L.A. would be the We're, worst one. That would be the last place it's solved. Because all just homeless just, transients would take it over and fuck it up? Because it's, uh, I mean, it's just criminals running the city. So yeah. why would it be, this is the last thing they want to do is solve anything. No. Just make it worse and worse and worse. Till everyone kills themselves. So I had to park all the way up the hill, and I'm walking towards the restaurant the whole time. Just my eyes are locked. It's giant. That parking lot is I know. so fucking, for a little bank. I know. It's the biggest fucking, and there's not a single car. There's a fucking, okay, there's a uh, there's a restaurant um, near the freeway. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Salzar's. Okay. Uh, amazing restaurant, amazing restaurant. Yeah. The parking is fucking impossible. Yet- Right behind, because it's a bunch of like production studios that mm-hmm. are just always open at exactly the wrong time, and none of them have parking lots that are publicly accessible. They're all using it for storage. It's all in the street. The streets have fucked up rules, so it's impossible to find parking. Um, you go there like a half an hour earlier, so you can find parking. There is a gigantic lot. Yeah. Uh, right next to it, like gigantic. That's all f- just dirt. That's fenced off. God forbid, they just. Get rid of the little put the fence down or fence. so everybody could park there every fucking day. But this will never happen. We all just sit there and walk by and go like, "Well, yeah, that's a. I wouldn't mean, that'd be, be cool a great place you, to wouldn't park. Wouldn't it be cool if you could park there? Obviously, that would. Obviously, we can't though. It's. Let me uh, take a picture of it so I can dox this fucking. It's one of those lot owner. It's one of those problems that has existed for so long without anyone ever attempting to solve it in any yeah. meaningful way. Yeah, where you go, I truly do live in hell. Yes. I live in a land where problems, many of them the biggest problems, including yeah. this one, uh-huh. are just so fucking obvious. We don't have enough parking, and there's no possible way to solve it, so let's just forget <laughs> about it. No, you know what you need to do. You need to come up with a way that somehow people have access to this. The fact that it exists 
The fact that you required people to build it by law. You made a law that says you have to build this thing and no one is allowed to ever use it except during <laughs> these specific hours yeah. for this building. They're that, shopping for you. How many people are ever in that Bank of America? How many cars could possibly, like oh, five I've or only six? Ever, Max, I've only ever seen five or six. That lot has room for 120 fucking cars. <laughs> it's fucking infuriating. Mm -hmm. Unused parking lots is the biggest problem <sighs> in the universe. Well, you've really been uh, slacking and phoning it in lately, but that was uh, probably the best problem ever. It's been a good one. Everyone everyone should be able to identify with that. I can't believe you you uh, snaked me to that problem. You beat me to that one. Yeah, that should have been one of yours. You're probably doing more parking. I won't leave my house in L.A. because, you know what? Okay, I have such parking anxiety about L.A. You do? Yeah, I'm like, I can't go anywhere because I'm not going to be able to find parking. Mm. And if I find parking, I'm going to fuck it up. And it's going to be like, you only have two hours and I'm going to go yeah. over by five minutes. I'm going to uh -huh. get a $200 ticket. Speaking of which, Andy Signore left his parking ticket in your house somewhere. Is it here? It was upstairs, remember? Because he was showing oh, it to us. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you know. Oh, well, Andy, if you're it's in this room, it's here. But <laughs> if it's upstairs, then Andy, you're it might be in a I have a drawer for tickets right. and stuff that it might be in. Well, again, Andy was in L.A. and he parked in the wrong place for five minutes because parking is a scam and nonsense. Yeah. And got a hundred dollar parking ticket. <laughs> so and if there were if you could just use the parking lots that were all freely available because this doesn't need to be a big deal. You wouldn't have got that parking ticket. Andy, uh, maybe look it up on the now city I'm in a website. real bad mood. It's infuriating. I know. It really is. And it's that parking lot. I've Every time I go because to that every, restaurant, I look at that, is, that fucking parking lot. Everything is based off of that. Like, yeah. there's some degree of everything else. Like Somebody uh, came up with something 50, 60 years ago, and it has been completely fucking us ever since. Yeah. And no one's ever attempted to solve it rationally. But it's also like... Uh, how many houses and apartments are just empty? Mm -hmm. And you can't put homeless people in them because they're crank addicts and they'll fuck them up. But there's some the that are not. The walls. Like, yeah, there's just like an abundance. There is an abundance of resources, but we cannot connect the dots because the people who need it are not. They do not deserve it. Right. Uh, the people who are in a oh. position. <laughs> see, here we go. Sure. The people who are in a saying. position to connect them are criminals. Yeah. Are evil criminals. The people putting in that position are dumb, and then the people who own it are have, are getting uh, yeah. shafted and taxed for it. It's like, yeah, you guys, you've just built the worst possible system ever. You built the dumbest system. You built the absolute average, averages system you could. Good job. Isn't it genuinely fascinating that society continues to function on this like mishmash of interlocking parts that are all evil and fucked? And you're like, I mean, kind of. How is this working at it's, all? It's not. The only reason it works is literally everybody's like, I hate capitalism. And you're like, you can't get rid of it. It's the only way we can go. Like, well, you can't fuck around too much because then you run out of money. All right, you can only fuck around oh, yeah. a certain amount. Well, uh, when Janet Yalen said, yeah, we have enough money for two wars, mm. I'm like, well, I mean, if this doesn't, <laughs> if we're not doing, like, violence and riots and shit after that, then it's, ne it's never happening. Yeah. Like, this is, you can't say anything worse than that. Sure, we got, we got enough wars, we got enough money for all the wars you could ever imagine. Well, Just keep printing the dollars, baby. Yeah, who's and who's using kids them to are paying fund for that? parking lots that you're not allowed to use? <laughs> yeah. All right. How's the um, parking at the Capitol? That's why they were rioting. <laughs> Couldn't find a place to park. <sighs> Where did they all park? It's a good question. Do they have oh. to walk really far to their cars? Maybe. Yeah. Never Maybe that's why that. they broke in. They're like, God fucking damn it. I'm not walking. I'm, I'm going to have jail. to walk all the way back to, I'm yeah. going back to my car. Maybe Fuck I can get this. a cop to give me a ride to jail instead of having to walk all the way back to my fucking car. Uh, that shaman break some guy windows. called into my show yeah. last week. How was that? He was cool. He's a, a white guy that does mushrooms, so, you know. He's always wearing a Halloween costume. Uh, the FBI stole his hat. Yeah. And they won't give it back. Well, they got to put, the, put it in the Smithsonian along with the blue suit that Congress guy wore where he picked up trash. They should put it in there. They should. What about a heist? To Enemies steal of that America. Shoot? They should have like an exhibit, and it's just all the January Six guys, you know, like yeah. their mug shots or whatever, and go on the yeah. day that crisis was averted. Thank God somebody picked up the trash. Does anybody have the Hamas parachutes? That's a good question. Do they? Do they leave them there? They can't. They can, yeah. You're not gonna. You know, once you're killing guys, you don't want a big fan on your back. Yeah, or even like they take it off. And they're kind of. They probably are getting chafed. No, yeah. they have that harness. I kind of want to rape. I'm doing a bunch of rapes tonight. I got to get rid of this harness so I don't get 
you know. I saw one wiener. festival guy was wrestling with a Hamas guy, and he took his the fan and he got away into the air. Oh, he did. Yeah, it was exciting. The Hamas guy or the festival the guy? The festival guy. Yeah, he took his fan and then t- he's <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, you come in here, you try, and he punched him out, and like the rocketeer, he grabbed it. <laughs> Yeah, and he just took off. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he A-teamed him. <sighs> wow, that's cool. I'm pretty sure that video is on Palestinian uh, TV. I don't think it would, the it would be the A-team, The Jew who flew. Though. That's what they call him. The Jew like a Bing who flew. Pixar movie? Yeah. <laughs> he got away. He was the one survivor to tell the tale. Bet uh, Anne, I bet Anne Frank wish she had a big uh, fan in a parachute. Fan Frank? Fan Frank. Uh, fine. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> we were talking about before the last show. Did it pick it up? Talking about uh, Lisa Frank, confusing it with Anne Frank. Did what pick it up? Uh, I remember we were talking about uh, yeah because we were talking yeah, about yeah, it before yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. I love the idea that Lisa Frank, creator of colorful notebooks, <sighs> was paying homage to her ancestor Anne Frank, who famously <laughs> her notebook was cut short. She said all children should have a notebook. I think her notebook was extended actually by her dad. <laughs> <All> her dad. <clears throat> no, her dad took stuff out of it. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's a bunch of stuff where she's like, yesterday I fingered myself. And he's like, well, I don't need to hear about that. I'll they save met- that one for me. <laughs> they eventually put it back in. But there's like some sexual stuff that he's like, eh, I don't know if I want people reading about that part of my daughter. What a, ki- let's what a focus on the Let's focus on the tragic. Come on, uh, buddy. Let's put some. Yeah, you got to p- make this thing could be a bestseller. Spice let's put some of this and we can plausible deniability. There was some of her uh, Sonic the Hedgehog inflation fan fiction I think he took out. Oh, that Anne Frank wrote? Yeah. She had an entire... I uh, would love if Knuckles put his (laughs) fist in (laughs) Tails' butt. She had an entire uh, half Sonic, half Pikachu character she had invented. I heard she had a thing where Quagmire's Sonic's face was like a toilet. Yeah. And Tails was shitting his... Tails had like a big swollen (laughs) stomach of poop. poop is going a little too far. (laughs) That's a meme, isn't it? (laughs) I'm I pretty sure the poop mouth. Wait, there's a poop mouth Sonic toilet. I didn't just make that up. I hope you the didn't bit just make memes. that up because Jesus Christ, that's horrifying. Uh okay. <sighs> okay, the secrets of Anne Frank's diary have been revealed. That's a good problem. I'm never gonna beat that. No. Mine is when um, uh, when deodorant's not unscrewed enough out mm. and it scrapes your armpits. Okay. The edges. Yeah, the edge of the plastic you thing. You don't have it going out far enough. You use the stick. What do you use? I use the spray. Spray? Somebody brought me spray at, at the show. But. Fuck the ozone, man. Oh, is that why people don't use it? That's why they don't use it. You know, the aerosol. I just don't want it to, like, get all over everything. Well, if you aim it directly it at your fucking armpit. But then it's like sp- a spray paint. Like, I don't want, like, a damp spot there. I love the spray. Really? Do you spray it all over yourself? I hit the, I hit the under the arms and maybe occasionally one line down the middle. Oh, a line down the middle. Yeah. Just quick. The stick just stays in one spot, pretty much. But then there's. But then you're scraping the plastic. We use. Uh, my fucking girlfriend decided to start using the same deodorant as me, mm. just in case. Just one, in case. One person. I'm like, I don't want. I don't want that. You're crossing armpits, these. then. Yeah, because then you smell like me. She's like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, well, isn't there about like bacteria me? under the armpit? I don't think you want to share. Not sharing. It's the same just brand. Same brand. Yeah, but how do you keep them separate? Well, that's exactly the point. Yeah. So we're in Greece, and I go, what the fuck? I'm taking off like a whole dermis <laughs> under my arm. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, mm. somebody has this all the way down under the, like, what are you, what she the didn't fuck un- is going she didn't on screw here? You got to go all the way. Yeah. She's like, well, then I put the cap back on it, scrapes it sometimes. Like, that is a small price to pay for <laughs> this shit. Yeah. I might get a big rash here. Okay. But now it's in my head. I'll just screw it more when you do it. Screw it out more? You're right. This is a shitty problem. I'm definitely going to win. But then <laughs> she's right. It does scrape off. It does scrape off. And then you off. got it all over your fingers. That's why I use the spray. I don't want to use a spray. You're saying that now, but I think if you did it, you would like it. I don't want people knowing that I'm putting deodorant on, though. I want it to be in Oh, you don't want to hear the hiss? You don't think the hiss is... You don't want to give it away? Yeah. Give That's away, why I take it, it off away, real slow. Give it away now. And go... You're a quiet down. deodorizer. Then I come out and people are, I want them to be surprised that I smell like that. I'm like, wow, that guy smells great. He smells like uh, pure sport. Mm. And I'll say that's right. But if they hear, Psh, then they're going to go, 
Here he's come. I bet fucking Mr. Smell Good's gonna come out. <laughs> Mr. Smell Good, you're, Here he comes, you're self-conscious about your deodorizing. Yeah, don't you think? No, I think this is a terrible problem, and you're gonna lose. But you get those. This scrapes. is the finger you pain fucking, of I, you, episode one eleven. You just don't do anything like normal people use that stick. This shit psh, is from psh, the seventies or seventies, maybe eighties. Not past nineteen eighty three. So you're telling me embrace tradition, reject mardi- modernity. No, actually, modernity. I don't like that meme. No one does. Well, uh, some people do. Weirdos do. Yeah. Who think that Shadowversity loves that meme? He said that oh, verbatim in one of his videos. Yeah. What a retard! And he's all into like sword fighting and shit. He was mad that. Why don't you go shit outside? He was mad dummy? the Buzz Lightyear video. Um, you and your potato bitch wife <laughs> go shit outside. You fucking idiot. He's one of those guys who, because the Buzz Lightyear movie had like a two second kiss in it. He's like, well, you gotta reject. You gotta reject modernity and embrace tradition. And you're doing AI. I'm like, okay. Yeah, and you're doing ass. AI, which makes no fucking art. You're you doing retard. AI art because. <laughs> Because you are not a good artist, and your brother is a world-famous artist. Yeah, And now you've got to, like, shit all over his thing because you're fucking pathetic. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something that I don't know if you're aware of it. Shadowversity has a graphic novel coming out. Oh, yes. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a copy. uh, Well, Shadowversity, when uh, Eric July said that... He was going to sue us. Oh, he went big. He went hard in the paint against the myself. Quartering, all these fucking idiots yes. came out. I'm coming after you guys. I got a list like If you want to talk Buscemi about in. secret lists. Yeah. I have a very open list. <laughs> we have a very open I'm gonna list. I'm going to tell you all the time. You have picked a fight. <laughs> I think it was a bad fight to pick because we will endlessly ridicule your... If you make a bad comic, your comic better be good. Because uh, Your gonna, comic better be good. My comic is good. It's already good. What are you going to do after your comic comes out? Kill myself, because I've accomplished it all. What are you going to do for real, though? Are you going to make like I'm a gonna free make one. digital comic? Yeah. I uh, Actually, you know... You're going to do digital comics like pop, 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 pop. None of this year-long shit. I know. I'm going to... People get bored. I know. Uh, I'm going to come up with some sort of assembly line process where I can make comics faster. Come up with that now. I'm working on that. Okay, I gotta find more people. You need an artist. Also, I'm hoping. Pop it out. I'm hoping AI pop, pop, art pop, pop, pop. continues to get better. Mm. If AI can handle coloring, which I think it will be able to do very just easily, coloring. That's honestly, if it can do that, and you just need to provide just make a line it black art. Black and white. Nah, I've thought about it, but people really want color. They're like very insistent who on people? it. People. Just the people who buy want the comic. People like black and white I'm all the do, time. Here's the thing. I'm going to do color for the first issue. Garfield, black and white, I mostly. Love, I love black. Family and, Circus, black and white. I love black and white comics. I really do. No one gives a fuck what Jeffy's but pants co- are colored. For some reason, Americans, uh, and you know, most of my customers are American, they really want the comic to be colored, and, and I respect Let me see the data. Let me see the percentages that, that you got I'll put up a this. poll. I don't know. Like, Put up a poll. Everybody vote black and white. <laughs> there are there are a lot of advantages to black and white. There really yeah, it's are. It's easy. It's faster. What about uh, uh, porno comics? Black and white. Here's what I'm. Here's what I'm thinking. No big deal. First, in fact, it's better. It's weird when they're colored. Yes, I think no matter what, the first issue will be colored. It's possible that that's like the big marquee color issue, and then we just go to black and white for the rest of it. Oh man, oh man. I also, flea big matzo I ball also, you got out there. And here's an idea that I've been kicking around. I want to do a companion web comic, so I want to find a second artist to have like the side adventures that are like kind of fun and comical and four panel comic. Four you know. panel comic? Yeah, like a like a fam. What are you calling? Who does like four stone panel? toss? Is going to be like racist and stuff. <laughs> not, I mean, <laughs> that'd be cool. Stone toss does do four panel comics. I'm not going to make racist ones necessarily. What about wormwood. Which Those ones are wormwood? cool too. More racist than Stone Toss. Peanuts was four panels, right? Um, Garfield is four panels. Garfield's uh, three. Dilbert, I know, is three. Scott, is three. Scott Adams, if oh, you wanted to. Oh, no. <laughs> Scott Adams famously uh, said, I made Dilbert three panels because that's, you know, 25% less work. Yeah. I'm like, that's the reason, like, no, no you know, like, oh, it's better reason. for punchlines or something. Joke, joke ass. He's a joke. Asshole. All right. Uh, I don't know what's four, actually. I think Wormwood's Peanuts four. was four panels. Peanuts is four panels? I think Dagwood was four panels. Originally, comic strips were all four panels, I think. Peanuts. Just look up four panel comic strips. Old strip. Oh. Or four sure, look, panel comic strips. I think all the classic ones were always expected to be four panels. Okay, yeah, Peanuts. That's not Peanuts. Oh. 
Why did you think that was peanuts? I don't know. Calvin and Hobbes. That's Calvin four, Hobbes. I guess. And well, he. I think he changed the number of panels. I don't know if it was a strict rule. What about the far side? That's you could do those with one your, panel. Just with that kneeling on George Floyd's no, neck. That's one panel right there. Well, my problem, Dick, is uh, recently saw one of those articles, one of those classic articles that you always see. Top 100 video games. Mm. Okay, and you look at those lists, and you go, I know they're going to fuck it up, because I know what they're going to do. And what do they do? They put Zelda Ocarina of Time at number one. The best video game of all time is Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I look on the list, and I'm like, well, how'd they rank the Marios? And they went, the best Mario ever. One. Three. Is Super Mario 64. No, that one was horrible. And they go into the top 20 <clears throat> is some bullshit like Banjo-Kazooie. Mm. Why? Because an entire generation has been poisoned with N64 nostalgia. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. GoldenEye. I think, I don't know what happened. I know, I was in the right age group. I grew, I yes, I remember growing up with the N64. I remember going to people's houses to play GoldenEye. I remember. Yeah. I remember playing Mario Kart. It was very fun. These are fun childhood memories. But I also remember getting older and being like, man, a lot of those games are dog shit. And then yeah. getting like a PlayStation 1 at the same time as the N64 and going, man, these games are just... Way clearly better, better yeah, they're than fun. what the N64 has. This fucking controller sucks. The controller is complete fucking dog shit. It makes no sense, and it breaks every two seconds. Yeah. The odds of finding a not broken N64 controller are because the stick falls apart. Because yeah. you know what holds the stick in? The fucking motion? It's just a rubber band, and the rubber mm. band stretches out, and it's impossible to replace and fix. The N64, look, it has its place. It has some stuff about every, every How game do you follow console. Up with such a great problem with with F nerd bullshit. Well, I'm already going to win with the parking lot thing, so now I just get to rant about why the N64 uh, is complete dog shit. Yeah. The N64 has five... Oh, the N64, okay. The All N64. Right. Every console has some good games. Uh -huh. The N64 has five of them. Only five. GoldenEye. Nope. Wait, let me guess. Okay. Uh, Superman 64? No, you know that's F -Zero. not one. F-Zero. F-Zero, yes. That's one of the five good games. Okay. Uh, Turok... Dinosaur Hunter? No, but that one is fun, but it's not good. It's uh, still Perfect a... Dark? No. Uh, SimCity N64 Sim City version? on N64? No. Yeah. You done? That's where you want to do, that's where you want the precision controlling of the <laughs> of game an N64 controller. controller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a mouse or a keyboard or anything. I, I couldn't believe they put that out on the N64. Right, well, you got F-Zero. You got any other guesses? Mario 64? Mario 64. That's two good games. Uh, Wario? Oh. Kirby? Uh, what? Zelda, obviously Zelda. Nope, Zelda is bad. Okay, what are they? Mario 64, F-Zero, Star Fox, Ugh. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon and Snap sucks! Pokemon Snap is great. Ah. Oh. And Wave Race. It's fucking dumb. No, it's not. You take pictures of Pokemon. You're and then... riding around on a, like a roller coaster? Yeah. It's slow as shit. And you gotta get the perfect shot of them. That's like... A great idea they for a video game. They all look like game. crap, though. It's just you're taking like well, pictures. Well, every of... N64 game looks like crap, so you can't ever but say the that. Pictures you take, it's not real, so it's just like, oh, it's just like a no. Crummy but it's picture. really like engaging to like you got to speed up, or you have to throw a thing, or you have to like wait oh, for the perfect man, timing. That game fucking sucks. You're an idiot. Uh, Pokemon Snap is uh, brilliant. What was the last game? Wave Race 64. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That one's just real good. I'll say this: uh, Mario Kart's good. I'll say there's six good games. Mario Kart 64 is also yeah. classic. Uh, here's the thing. Look, GoldenEye was fun at the time, but if you go back and play it, let's be real. It's one of the worst first-person shooters ever. You only enjoyed it because it was the first time you were able to play Deathmatch, probably because you didn't play Doom Deathmatch. Every other first-person shooter is better than GoldenEye. Zelda is a tedious, confusing piece of shit. All you do is walk around super slowly in this big fucking empty world devoid of any personality or anyone you actually want to meet or talk to. You have to memorize a bunch of songs. Yeah, but you don't know that that's life when you're a kid, so it's cool. Oh my god. Going back and trying to play Ocarina of Time is the worst fucking chore. Yeah. And then you have to do all these crate puzzles, and for some reason the developers were like, you know what the best part of crate puzzles are? It's when uh, the character makes this horrific grunting noise and pushes it one inch at a time. <laughs> and it takes like ten to get the fucking crate into place. 
I do hate the Nintendo 64. I fucking I didn't have hate one it. though when I was a kid. I had one, and you know what I did? I threw it away. sold it to get a PlayStation 1. Because I was like, when I bought it, I was like, well, clearly it's going to have like the new Final Fantasy and all that shit. And it's like, uh -uh. no. You know why it doesn't have those things? Because it's designed by a fucking moron child. Uh, the worst thing, now an N64 cartridge holds 64 megabytes. Yeah. A CD holds 650 megabytes. Yeah. So about 10 times as much game data can fit on a CD. You can't fit that much on that fucking cartridge. Now... The worst part, I think, of the N64 were the graphics. They looked fucking terrible. Why did they look so bad? I'm going to tell you. Because the textures didn't have room? The N64 only had 4K of texture memory oh, yeah. compared to the PlayStation, which had one megabyte. Oof. So that means every texture at max was a 64 by 64 inch, or 64 by 64 pixel like icon. icon, which was then stretched to fit yeah. giant fucking polygons. Now... The developers knew this looked like dog shit. So rather than go, hey, we've clearly designed a monster of a console, which is complete garbage compared to the competition. Right. Why don't we just not use con cartridges so we have more room for texture memory and the architecture, whatever else. Instead, they came up with the brilliant idea of applying a bilinear filter, which turned everything into fucking mud, which is why every N64 game looks like you took a good game and smeared fucking Vaseline all over the screen so everything smudges together yeah. into a complete garbage nightmare, which looks terrible yeah and the way they excused it was well you're playing it on a crt so people won't even notice mm. and now that we have new technology where we can play the games on a good tv we can go oh it doesn't look any better yeah. and it's never going to look any better i remember people i think would call into the game store or whatever when my yeah. buddy was selling s64s and they go it just looks wrong it's all it's, horrible. it's all blurry yeah he's like yeah because you're playing it on a good tv it yeah. was designed to trick you into being like, well, it probably just looks all smudged up. It looked up like shit all the time. Because of my TV. But it was so expensive. That's the other problem. Uh, N64 games were at minimum like 60 bucks. You got a big stack here. The good for the ones. N64. No, 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 no. That's a bunch of other stuff. I How old is this system? N64 games were like 80 bucks. Yeah. It was like 80 bucks to get Mario 64. I remember that. And PS1 games were 50 bucks across the board. You could pirate them too, easily. You could, you could pirate them. You could get a boot disc and have a good time. Now you had to get a mod chip. I just, I don't understand when, like, people, you know, you know, when I knew Keemstar was stupid, okay. was when he went, I just bought a complete N64 game library. And he said, he bought every N64 game in the box. And I went, oh, Keemstar is a moron. Because anyone who wants I to I just own get that flash cart thing. <laughs> that thing is cool. <laughs> yeah. Load it on that. And honestly, there are actually some N64 emulators now that remove that blur filter through like oh. some sort of magic processing or whatever that okay. actually tell it not to implement that at the fucking software level so actually playing actual n64 games looks worse than playing them on an emulator anyone who wants to own the complete n64 <sighs> library to the exclusion you know, the, uh, of other li why would you the PlayStation One was the superior I mean, it's just, system it's just in nostalgia every way that people like having nostalgia. it as a kid. You have to. There's no such thing as bad nostalgia. It's all bad. Okay, it's time that's dead. I have no problem with nostalgia when people admit, yes, it was stupid and bad. I only like it because I was an idiot child. That's great. There's a lot of things that I liked because I was an idiot child. Every day I woke up to watch the Mighty Max cartoon. How about the like, Mighty Max cartoon is not good. Uh, Masters yeah. of the Universe. Everybody's mad at Netflix. They're like, I can't believe they ruined Masters of the Universe. And you're like, are you a moron? No, Masters they of the did. Universe was always stupid. Because it was about men. They made it about women. It was women. already a bad cartoon. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about men is as bad as the best thing about women. Sure. Name me one good thing that's women. Well, sex with women. <laughs> well, that's not good because of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fucking penis. Um, Titty milk. You need it to keep your baby alive. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I can't make it. So what is this? Is a Actually, top one hundred list? Did you see that top one hundred hottest women? There was a man, uh, trans woman on it. Hey, maybe was it a good looking trans woman? Uh, what? What do you mean? What? <laughs> There's some good looking uh, trans ladies out there. Is that nostalgic? Nostalgia talking? That's nostalgia. So you're mad about nostalgia? I'm mad about specifically. What if someone said like the Game Boy is the best system ever? Would you say 
uh, Donkey Kong's, you know something? You suck. Mortal Kombat's a good game, but Don- Donkey Kong is the best game of all time. I just wish everybody would stop pretend. Look, if you have a top. Where are you reading 100 video games lists? Just, they always post them. It's like clickbait shit. It was some, some game magazine. Don't give just them Just people the- need to. Look, Ocarina of Time is not. It's not Ocarina of Time is not even the best Zelda game. Okay. Which one is? What's the best Zelda game? Probably Link's Awakening. Which one is that? It's on the Game Boy. Oh, the Game Boy. Link's Which Awakening one? is really good. I made a guy play it. Uh, it was the on the original Game Boy. They fucking two they remade one? they remade it for the Switch. They have a Switch version of it now, and it's all 3D or whatever. Okay. Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, uh, probably tied. I like Link's Awakening a little more, but if you said you like what about Link's Zelda Two? That was a good one. Side no, scroller. No. Mix it up. Yeah, mix it up. Zelda Two is terrible. You could have to fight that clone. I finally beat Get some magic. I finally beat Zelda 2 after like 30 years of having Zelda 2. It's cool, satisfying. It's interesting. Oh, oh, it's oh, definitely oh, oh. not a good game. Probably that's probably the best Zelda game, I would say. Zelda 2 is very interesting. It is not a good game. Stop saying that. Uh it is it is the close it is it's interesting. I I I see what they were trying to do, but it's bad. They were trying to nail it. Ocarina of Time is trash. Majora's Mask is trash. Banjo Kazooie, yeah. Donkey Kong sixty four. Go back and look. They all look like shit. Mm-hmm. They're not that fun. And so everything like, they did, the PlayStation did better. All right, Nintendo sixty four. Nostalgia and N- nostalgia sixty four. How's Nostal- that? Boom, roasted. Okay, <laughs> nostalgia. So and anyone problems. who argues with me. Is a child. Nostalgia 64. Or what was you your other problem? Or you one a PS1. Uh, unused parking lots. Unused parking lots. Or empty parking lots, whatever you want to say. Well. Un- I don't know. Unused. Unusable parking lots? Let's put unused, empty parking lots. Empty parking lots, okay. Empty parking lots. Uh, mine were uh, scraping your arm. With scraping, deodorant. Yeah, your arm Deodorant armpit, scrapes. Armpit. With. Deodorants. Deodorant damage. De- <laughs> uh, I love alliteration, baby. I know, but then people look at it like I don't know what any of this shit is. Nobody votes. <sighs> okay, you know what? <laughs> don't vote for Vito's problems. Vote him into the fucking dirt. Vote all of mine up. No, go vote. What was my other one? IRL. IRL. Victim. IRL. Vic- IR retardation. See, IRL clever victim. One. You have no IRL idea what that is. IRL victimhood. I- IRL victim complexes. Fear of IRL. Fear of IRL. Uh, yeah, histrionic fear of IRL. I'm sure okay. people will figure out what it is. Guys, don't all forget right. to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And once again, bonus episode, Biggest Problem in Halloween, a spooky adventure available at patreon.com slash biggestproblem and backed up by slash biggestproblem. What, did I not put the voicemails in here? Shit. I don't know. I'll buy some time by singing my favorite song. Damn it. It's I the biggest I put problem. Him in here. I don't have a song. Did I put him in the wrong show? Am I supposed to show this shirt on? Is this something somebody sent us for the show? Uh, Yeah, that's for you. I already looked at them on my show, but the one that's 3XL is for you. It's for all Did you have to funny. say the one that's 3XL? I well, think we I'm all just knew that. fucking let, letting you know. Soon, uh, soon I'll be a 2XL. As long as I keep eating my beef and broccoli. How's you, have you weighed yourself this month? No, I had to go get a new 9-volt battery for my uh, scale. You burned it out? I don't think I burned it out. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened. I think it ran out normally. <laughs> God damn it. I guess I didn't put them in the fucking thing. You don't have any voicemails? No. Well, let's just watch let's Eric just, July's video yeah, about watch. video games. And his Palestine thing. Yeah, let's watch the Palestine one. Okay. What is this show his, he's on? It's like a big, like, political show. Uh, is this a Blaze lady? Is this the Blaze? Yeah, it's got to be the Blaze. Man, did if there is one thing. Did you see thing... uh, Alex Stein talked about us? Oh, he did? He had neurotic. What did he say? He said he had neurotic on. He's like, I okay. don't know how I've gotten dragged into this. And I'm like, well, the reason you got dragged into it is because Eric July is freaking out about someone going to his business. And all you do is go to people's oh. businesses and fuck with them. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. See, you're like, why are you not watching these clips? Dick, there's so many clips. Yeah, Everyone's but Ethan Cyber had like a tearjerker, man. I watched I watched most of that stream. Uh, what'd you think? I, I, Ethan has more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's that word when you believe in something and you're not a fake? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
He has three, more. Ah, fuck, it's on the tip of my tongue. Like g- genuine. That's close. Yes. He's a more genuine type person. Like he believes in something. Integrity might be the word I'm looking That's for. Not quite it though, is it? Well, I'm gonna use it. He has more artistic. Bonafide. In- yeah, he's a more bona fide individual. <laughs> yeah, he has more artistic integrity. You're he saying? has more artistic integrity than I expected. Oh. <laughs> That's not an insult. I'll say, Sounds like one. No, because I'll say I, I have less artistic integrity than Ethan Van Skyver. Because if I was in a situation where I knew I was profiting by shutting my mouth, I would probably just go along with it. Like Are he, you guys sending he you was think? making money, you know, and he could have. Yeah, okay. So the guy. Eric July clearly threatened Ethan into, like, not ignoring what we were saying. Yes. It's like saying, like, you better, like, defend me or else. Or else uh, when I'm on stream, I won't defend you. Right. Like, no one's, what are you fucking talking about? That guy's the fucking king of independent comics. No one's going, who's going after, who needs you to defend? Eric, uh, if I'm You've going. never made. Well, if I'm going to the fucking electric chair and you show up as my lawyer, I'll shoot myself in fucking court. Yeah. Uh, mush mouth. Who needs you to defend anybody? Also, I can understand Ethan as a guy who's made hundreds of comics, a guy who's made two coming to him and being like, Listen, here's the way things are going to be. I'd be like, oh, slow your roll, buddy. Okay. Uh, but still, I. so unnecessary. I, I, you know, I've saw him, you know, kind of uh, pushing back against Eric July. And I was like, yeah, but don't you have a good thing going? Aren't you making money off the back of this? Because, again, I have other guys who come to me and they're like, listen, I'm just making money off the back of this thing. So I can't really talk shit about it. I said, yeah, I understand. Yeah, but they're not. I understand. Like, I know what Eric, I know that. I know, I know they're also not. I know. The, I knew the, his game the whole time. It's just suck, 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 take, 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 take. Never pr- never promote anything. Load your pay pigs' throats up with shitty comics. Right. And plug it down until they fucking burst. That's the game. That's the game plan. Well, Because you see it in Hollywood all the fucking time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come prom- promote me. Promote me, promote me. Never goes the other way. Never. Right. And I also, some of the stuff he says, I don't know if we brought it up on this show, but like he's got a big thing where he's like, these guys are crowdfunding comics. You know, I print my comics ahead of time. Crowdfunding is bad. And I'm like, well, all these guys are crowdfunding and you're telling your audience that that model sucks and is bad and that you shouldn't trust people who crowdfund. I'm like, and Ethan crowdfunds. Is that a tax thing? Because he's doing crowdfunding. He, oh, Eric's doing crowdfunding. I'm try, I've tried to explain that to people. Like, well, no, he's pre-ordering it. I'm like, yeah, that's most companies. Most big because companies. A, a crowdfund is, I think, a, is like a gift. And a pre-order is, I know they're not the same thing. Yeah. Um, For tax purposes, it's classified differently. Maybe. I'm guessing. Because it's not the same. If you... Mm. I don't know. know. All tax situations are. And and regardless, I'm like, bro. Here's the thing: you have the money to produce your comic up front, and some other guys do as well. If I wanted to print my comic ahead of time, I could have. It just would have been stupid. Mr. Moneybag. Shut up. He didn't need any of the money after all. (laughs) No, I want the money. Okay. (laughs) Uh, I'm saying if I needed to, I could have done that. I wouldn't have wanted to. But, you know, there's some guys who have to crowdfund, so don't say, like, you know, I hate crowdfunding and, uh, you know, it's stupid and you should just print the books and blow. It's like, well, no, because now you're telling your audience to. The overall, uh, the only, the the most important takeaway from the whole thing is um, you have to criticize people. Yeah. Everyone needs to take criticism, not be open to it, but take it. Yeah. or else it's and not you gonna can, get any better. You can listen to criticism and be like, listen, I don't agree with this and I don't agree with this, but maybe this has some truth to it. That's the thing is like I went back and listened to your review, and there's like some very small inaccuracies, right? Yeah. Where we said like uh at one point it was like, Who's Mrs. Newman? And there was like some throwaway line that says she's like the mother of Jasmine or something. But the point is who? Like, why is that important? Right. Well that's What's the thing is like that small thing does not Discount the fact. Try that try starting a new like. Doesn't have try a starting plot. a parallel comedy uh, right. economy and having nobody criticize anyone. Just everybody be terrible and nobody's laughing. No. And uh and that's what the uh, and see how see how that goes. His entire focus was well because it contains this small inaccuracy that means that it's obviously bad faith and can be completely discounted. And you're like no the All overall right, well, points are still valid. 
even if your confusing comic did not make it clear why yeah. he was searching for Jasmine. All right, let's watch and this. And we had to infer a lot from one panel that somebody It's a two-minute clip. This is, it's some, it's some wall-aged woman. Okay. And a, a gay guy and Eric July talking about what's happening. Wait, it's you said Eric July my- twice. <laughs> <laughs> There's two Eric Julys? I'm confused. It's basically my dream team. If mm. I wanted an analysis, a smart analysis of what's happening in the Middle East, yeah. I say, you give me a wall-aged woman, a gay man who's too excited to be there, and Eric July. Let's, I want, that's what I want. Feed, that, feed me that analysis Foreign on the Middle East. relations correspondent Eric July. Yes. How many, poly, how many communications degrees do we have here? Three? That's what I thought. <laughs> Hit me with it, people. Hit me with it. I'm excited. Can you find America on a map? Something tells me no. All right, here. We have a right to respond. I just think that is like that response in a time Israel. of war that they right. didn't ask for is much different than Hamas going in and specifically targeting innocent children. Well, again, what's going to happen is people are going to defend that action or speak, let's not even defense, it's more of speaking against, let's say, a reaction because people are going to say, well, before that, they did this. Right. And before that, that's how it always happens. This is how it is. And I'm dealing with this and I've dealt but with But that's this. government. Oh my God. I'm dealing with this. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Uh, yeah. There you go. Can you imagine someone being like, "I'm dealing with this." Can you imagine? Yeah. Have you seen what's happening in Israel and Palestine? Well, I've been dealing with this. I've been dealing. What do you think about this? What, what do you mean you've been dealing with this? What do you think how this? Israel's like? What do you mean killing kids and they shut off all their power and like there's? Well, I've been dealing with a similar situation. Oh, do you know? Like you're, I mean, you're black. Do you have ancestors in like uh, Africa, like Rhodesia well, or something? Is this, not do you exactly. Have, in Israel, do you know people in mm, Palestine or something? It's a similar prison. type scenario. Do you know people in prison? No, no, I'm just no, it's reaching here like because it's a horrible it's genocide that's that may or may not be happening yeah. and terrorism that may or may not be happening. Well, what are you? You're I just dealing with see it. the bloodshed. I see the uh, the horrible things that are happening. Uh huh. Really reminds me right of m- what's going on with me and what specifically. Is, okay, were you in nine eleven? A, a personal nine eleven, I would say. Oh, uh, okay. Very personal. And what what is it? Well, have you heard of an individual named Riley? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A hundred percent. Not innocent civilians. I, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Well, you said institution against institution. Yes, right. that's exactly what it is. And I've dealt with this, and I think everybody oh here has. God. <laughs> I've dealt with this. Dude, they're like trying to keep him <laughs> on. Like they're having a conversation about global t- terrorism and like politics. Yeah. And he's just like I trying to, to wrestle the gator into talking about people taping money to his warehouse. Yeah. And they don't even know. It's like when you're in school and they tell you about how they're putting all the Jews on trains to go to Auschwitz, and you go, I've been on a train. Yeah. Oh, Bill, thank you, Billy. Thank you for that insight. My parents call <laughs> my it par- the, the nighttime <laughs> train, where I have to go brush my teeth and wash my face and then go to bed. And my mom reads me a bedtime story, usually like three bedtime stories. I get to pick two of them. Um, but I don't like it, so I. It is something we've we've all had to deal with. It. We've, we've all, all had, had to deal guys, with we've the all had train. To deal with it, right? We know about the train. It may not be called the night train for you, but you've had some sort routine. of nighttime vehicle experience. So I think we can all identify. He tries to say, like, he realizes how what he's doing is so dumb, and tries to say, "We've all dealt with that. We've like, all dealt panic. with it. We've all dealt with this." Panic. Uh, here we go. This right. and before that, that's how it always happens. This is how it is, and I'm dealing with this, and I've dealt but with. But that's this. government problem. A hundred percent. Not uh-huh. innocent civilians. I, I agree. I agree. A hundred percent. Why you said institution against institution? Yes, right. that's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. And I've it dealt is. with this, and I think everybody here has dealt with this on more of a micro level. It's a cultural thing. It's micro level. And. In the event Cultural that someone thing. feels, and people that like follow me know where I'm going with this, I'm not going to bore anybody with the details because I have my own no, experiences No, please bore here. me with Aaron. the details. I really yeah. want you right now to bore me with the details of how your life is like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Please and bore me, Israel. Please bore Israel. me with those details. <laughs> I would love to be bored by that. Please, Eric, please. <laughs> Eric, we got all the time in the world. I got all the time <laughs> to be bored by the details of how your life uh-huh. is like an ongoing humanitarian crisis slash war. Genocide. Genocide. Uh, okay, here. 
But what happens is, is that in the event that people have made up their mind that you are not to be liked, okay? Mm. Liked. Whether it be a person, individual person, type of person, no matter what. Wait. Individual so, person, type of person. In the question of Israel and Palestine, when people have made up their mind that you are not to be liked. The big problem is that they don't like the Jews. Or, oh, or, yeah, or Israel. Israel they doesn't like, Israel. like Hamas. It's a situation of liking People someone. have made up their minds. People have made up their minds. That's He's it. just so fucking stupid. <laughs> What is he doing? Why would you say this? Oh, my God. People who listen to my channel know what I'm talking about. You're right, and we know you should stop right now. You should not make this comparison ever. Anything that you do is unjustified. Right. Anything that someone else does to you is to be justified. And, like, to your point, you worded it perfectly where you say, hey. How is he proud of himself? Look at him smiling about this. I'm an excellent metaphor smith. I make a comparison Anything that you do is just anything that I made a slim you do is unjustified. Eric, it's just not funny. Like you're just like ranting mm. about murdering people because they taped bunny money into your warehouse. I mean, you said it would be justified to kill a man, so people are reacting to that. It's not justified or not justified. If you're wondering why they don't like you, it might be your <laughs> propensity towards murder at a uh, minor slight that was delivered upon you. If I was black, I would not want this guy to be going around talking about murdering people over a bunch of money taped to my door. It's not a bad. You know what a, I mean? It's not a good look. Uh, okay, here we go. You're just supposed to take it on the chin. That's the expectation it is that they have for people that they despise. Wait, wait, wait. Let me rewind a little bit. I want. I really want that line take it on the chin to be heard in context of a festival being massacred yes. and women we, being Everyone expects and, Israel to take the mass murder of hundreds hostages. of people on the chin. That's an argument that's been made. Just take it on the chin. He's not talking about himself here. <laughs> Anything that chin. someone else does to you is to be justified. And like, to your point, you worded it perfectly where you say, hey, you're just supposed to take it on the chin. That's the expectation it is that they have for people that they despise. Now, why they despise them, whatever. Is it because they were told? Uh, is it, there's it, hate in their heart. Is it in, is okay, Eric, no one is telling you you have to take it on the chin. Just respond equally. When someone shows up at your warehouse and puts money on your door, call them a fat F slur and move mm -hmm. on with your day. This is like a Palestinian child throwing a rock and an IDF soldier saying, I have every right to murder that kid. Yeah. <laughs> and then going on TV and crying about how they couldn't, but they should be allowed to do it and right. no one likes them. You have to respond. Just shoot them then. Equally. Saying you're going to kill people because they made a joke in your parking lot, which was unused, by the way. Uh, yeah. That should, uh, that's, that's not responding in kind. Okay, there's, You uh, can fire back. It's fine. Just. You're too dumb. Yeah. And he did that thing. People, the biggest losers will always go, oh, I, I'm not going to give them attention. And then uh, give them endless attention. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you tried that. If you really weren't, you wouldn't say that. Mm. Right. It's in hatred heart. in their heart. Yeah, it could be a heart, various, uh, whatever, they've made up their mind that anything that you do is wrong. Yeah. Any reaction that you have is unjustified, but anything that you have, that anything that someone else does to you, you had it coming. It was your fault. Yada yada yada. I think a lot of us deal with this, but th you're th what we're seeing right here is this more out of like a, a just a massive level. I'm not gonna sit up here and pretend like what's happening in my life is the <laughs> is the same well, as least, what's going on. At least like, he walks it back a little bit. <laughs> At least he puts a little disclaimer on it. What an idiot. Thank God. What a fucking idiot. Uh, uh, oh, well, I'm not, not going to say push it up here, but it's exactly lying. the same. But I mean, oh, that would be crazy. The similarities are noteworthy. <laughs> And Palestine, that's not what it is that I'm saying. I'm saying that approach to the that response that right. people have mm -hmm. is similar and it can be a, a, a applicable really anywhere else. I can't believe you said applicable correctly. We have a right to respond. Oh. And they talk about shoes for a half hour after this. It's really amazing. Just, you wanted to kill a guy for putting money on your door. Yeah. You said that would be a self-defense situation. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Got to respond equally. 
Let me. Guys, I what a to play great one. show. I have to play one voicemail. Okay, or play else one it'll be voicemail. Weird. I gotta play an old one. I mean, I made a whole fucking bunch of them too. God damn it! Can't <sighs> you search by date in this folder? I just didn't copy them over to my Dropbox. Although I thought I did. Well. Fuck. Hey guys, the biggest problem in the universe are those spam texts. That you get. It's sucks. gone from call- emails to calls this voice to now sucks. it's text messages. Oh, your package couldn't Fucking be delivered. Garbage. Or hey, how's garbage it going? Voice Can we mail. meet up? I just all these stupid spam texts just to get you to respond. Yeah, those kind of suck. And I have a solution. Okay? Wouldn't you be okay? With your funding of the military. If all you- right, all right, all right. This is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you shit on the voicemails. No, that was a great one. Spam text. Good. It's on my computer. Good. But now, if I if we start doing super chats, it's too late to do the voicemails. So I guess they're just. I guess all that effort is wasted. You can play them on the next show. Then they're too. Then they're late. It makes no sense, Vito. Can you copy them over while I read through the super chats? But you don't want to do that. Yeah, but then that, if then we it start doing the it, flow. then it's yeah, then it's it's already gone. Well, what are you gonna do? Is my drop is my Dropbox running? Yeah, shouldn't it show sync history? Suggestions for Halloween? Can't f- look. Yeah, can't find it. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on, Vito? It's haunted. I don't know. My computer's haunted. We gotta get another. Uh, we gotta get another computer. We need a separate station. To pull things down. God damn it. All right. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for listening to a great episode. How many people do I have watching real quick? Can you go to that tab? I feel like this is a big show. Big, big show. Thousand. We have over a thousand people watching. That's actually a, kind of a milestone. Who do you guys? Uh, we normally, uh, I think the only other time we hit like a thousand is when like we have Destiny here. So who do you guys want to hear more? Who knows? Who knows more about the Middle East? Uh, Are you gonna put me or Eric? Eric July. <laughs> He's playing. Eric July or Ja Rule. Okay, there you go. Which one? Vote. Why'd right you now. put a question mark next to Ja Rule? It's a question mark. It's a sentence. <laughs> That's not how polls work. <laughs> you don't make the poll a sentence. All Guys, right. get those super chats in. You know oh, you want shit, to support up. your favorite show. Biggest Fuck, problem. I fucked it up again. In the no, it's the uh, episode one eleven. That's what we're on, right? There you yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Koof successfully obtains the first super chat of the night for two. It says thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you, Koof. Riley Edwards for five. If Vito loses the Vito loses weight challenge, you should have to dress up as Isom Knox for Halloween. No. Red for two. What is the warehouse situation in Gaza like? Well, we talked to Eric July about it, and he says it's basically the same. Warren for two. Next live show at Isom's grave. Grave rave. Grave rave. Grave rave. Turkey sandwich for ten. Just wanted to get gay for a second and say, Vito, I gen. Hold on, this is going to be a trick. Say, Vito, I genuinely appreciate you and what you bring to the show. Your sense of humor and ability to handle bullying makes the biggest problem in the universe reach its full potential. I'm surprised you did not try to sn- slip a TBF in there. Thank you, sir. A genuine super chat. My God, how often do we get that? Jay Thompson for two. Problem. Tim Sheridan's anti-anti-woke marketing. Guys, if you want to learn more about that. Tim Sheridan, who will not give us a review copy of Green Lantern, which is bullshit. Where's his uh, grandparents buried? (laughs) (laughs) It's that our new thing. Every time a comic creator slights us. Our, you didn't say it was. You were just like, well, I'll begrudgingly. I made a video about this situation. Guys, go to YouTube.com slash Vito2. That's V I T O T W O. Okay. To learn about how Tim Sheridan is picking a fight oh. with uh, the comic skate community and uh, trying to get his gay Green Lantern into your home. Maybe you want it. Lemon Trashy for two. Just wanted to get gay for a second and say veto. Good joke. Jam is for 10. What is going on? I've never felt closer to you, Vito. Thank you for strengthening our parasocial relationship. The only way to be closer is to be inside. Hmm. I will be inside you, Vito. I'm okay. reading these very closely because I, I feel like these are tricks. There's a trick in there. LP Dirty T for two. I'm here for my weekly dose of racist intimidation. <laughs> Dick, <laughs> can I get a drum roll? <laughs> the big Avaxis for $100 on the wow. board. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Avaxis. Fantastic. Hey, Vito, seems that the Jameson turned me into a whiskey prick. 
So to make it up to you, I became a beast tier veto file. I need to rename those tiers on my Patreon. But I have to stress, just because I'm a veto attracted person, don't make that a meme, doesn't mean Vap. I'm prowling my local magic tournaments Vap, Vap. for vetoes to molest. Well, Avaxis, thanks for joining my Patreon. And uh, if you're at the Beast here, you may have qualified for the Veto Plush doll, oh, which will be the holiday gift. <laughs> all you guys. With I'm your giving fucking, shit away. It's free. Oh, you got a digital man. You got you to shed gifts. this fucking poisonous I'll give skin him a, you wear. A Veto NFT. How's that? You got to watch, uh, what's that movie where they put all that shit on their, Labyrinth. They're putting to- all that shit on their back and yeah. it's like weighing them down and breaking them. You know what I now figured out is, you know, there's a website where you can vote on, you can uh, bid on Japanese auction sites. Okay. And they like send it to their Japanese warehouse and then ship it out to you. Mm -hmm. So now I can buy even more garbage I don't need. (laughs) You need, if there's like a meteor that hit your apartment, wiped all that shit out, that'd be the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, at this point, I might sell it all and just buy bonds based on the market. Torturist for seven Canadian dollars. I've never felt closer to you, Vito. As you slowly miss more and more weigh-ins, I feel your gravitational pull more oh, and more. Okay. I think we're doing good. Riley is here. I give him a drum roll. Young Clippa himself for $100. Wow. Says, let's all Pokemon go to the grave of Isom Knox. All hail the Clippaverse from our good friend Young Clippa, employee of the month. For, uh, what was that? September 2023. Mm -hmm. Who's employee of the month this, uh, uh, Riley again. Well, somebody suggested (laughs) it was the racist individual in the hockey mask. Uh, No, it's always Riley. It's always Riley. He's employee of the month every month. Horse McGee for five says, Israel, more like was real. Oh, those busty IDF girls are always welcome, though. I hate that psyop and meme, mm. maybe more than any other. Which one? That Israeli. Whenever they show IDF the hot girls Israeli hot? girls in the army, yeah. I the sick the, the amount of sick that I feel is threefold. I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> the hatred of them, the uh, the hatred knowing that it's a psyop, and then the absolute self loathing, sickening uh, hatred that I feel. For myself yeah. and everybody that it works on, well, that manifests in that. Yeah, you know we can all. How about those? Like, oh man, I don't know. Every time I watch those Wonder Woman movies, I'm like, you know, it's a little bit hotter knowing Gal Gadot hates those those Palestinians. You yeah, know? this is yeah. You're she the target to- for that shit. <laughs> Bunch of skinny girls. Gorgeous little gorgeous Jewish goddess, Gal Gadot. Anytime a base gets blown up, I'm going to imagine that they're in there. Please, God, let please, God, tell me that they at least have to sleep in the base. I'm going to take a fan to her house and she can crav Magami into the ground anytime. Lane Steele for five Australian dollars says, My name is Vito Giswaldi and I love red delicious apples. They are not mealy. They are back. Wow, I didn't know you felt that way. Mysterious Ways for a thousand sneaky dollars says, I can't believe they think he actually peed on the stone. <laughs> That's a grave <laughs> accusation. That guy's calling into my show on Sunday. That's a good He pun. wants to defend himself. Yeah, because he didn't pee on the grave. It's a stupid thing to say. It doesn't. If have you seen urine ever in your life? It doesn't appear no. in a small pot. It leaks Mine everywhere. Does. I just pee a little bit yeah, out you and then shut t- it off. Yeah, it right shut it off immediately. Easy, no drips. Fun. Anyway. Big Brian GG for five. Got my super chat in before last call. Eric July Saga is the best. Hope his game is accessible. Keep up the jokes. We he says it. his game is going to be very accessible. No, he says his game is not going to be accessible. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? That he's not worrying about accessibility in his game. I'm I'm glad. So Big Brian has not actually watched the bonus episode yet because we haven't posted it. But he did pick up on the fact <laughs> we talked that about Eric accessible July a lot. Does not know how to pronounce <laughs> accessible, and says multiple times in his video, "I don't want the game to be too accessible." He's playing it up. I don't know. He it's literally. It's a minstrel show, man. I'm telling you guys. How do you not know the word accessible? Pa- he's just Polemoth. like playing a. That Plymouth, Plymouth, he didn't know. He's a mush mouth. It's crazy. Isn't really engaging, and you can kind of sleep through it. Before we even get to build out the game, we start little. with the combat and general gameplay loop. This is Everything him the, describing the Ripperverse video game. The game plays, not the other way around. We're not going to create a game and then say, oh, 
People got to actually play. Can you pause it for a second? <laughs> so he made an entire video about the video game he wants to make, but the entire video is just him bitching about other video games. At this man. No, 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 no. It's about, it's him bitching about uh, video game design uh, philosophy. It's not about, he's yes. like, because what he knows nothing about. Design philosophy he does which he knows, not he knows understand. Knows nothing about. He was like, I want to make it an MMO, but I hate MMO combat. And, and you know, and it always feels like you know stiff this. It feels stilted. stiff and whatever. And you're I like, I want to make it jam packed. I want to make it. Yeah, I want to make it super like, fun and action packed. You can't because it's on a server with a hundred players, and you need <sighs> to be able to issue the servers very simple commands. Like yeah. my character is walking from point A to point B, and in the middle of that, they will swing their sword once. Mm -hmm. You can't do a fluid action MMO because the server would fucking explode. It would be, or you would just see other people's characters warping around as the computer tries to figure out where they're going, but then has to constantly revise it back because they changed their action midway through. Like, you don't. <laughs> You're over explaining it. He's. This is listen, a 12 year old listen, going, listen. I don't understand why they don't just make an online Devil May Cry with a thousand characters. Everybody would like it. Yeah. Because you fucking can't do There's not enough bandwidth to do that. You don't have infinite bandwidth, you retard. Like, you don't understand how video games work, so don't spend You're picking on, like, the most technical, like, autistic point. Because it's- Of a technical limitation. He's way dumber than that. I know. He's going- Like, you're, like, obsessing about this simple server limitation when he's saying stuff that's that's way stupider. He's every guy on the internet who goes, I just don't know- This game looks like it was made in Unity. And you go, what does that mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean it looks like it was made in Unity? Unity I don't know what that, I've never heard that. Th there's people who think that the graphics of a game depend on the engine that you use. Yeah. And it's like, no, a game, uh. games made in Unity can have completely different fucking, and now if you're saying they're using stock assets, but whatever. It's just one of these stupid arguments that people <laughs> yeah. who know nothing about game design. Yeah. I worked in the video game industry. I know, you're making okay? him look good. Yeah. All right, fair uh, enough. Play loot. Everything extends from how the game plays, not the other way around. We're not gonna create a game and then say, oh, people gotta actually play it. So, what? Just that part. He doesn't know anything about video games. Everything extends from the way it's played. We're not gonna make a game and then say, oh, people have to play it. Just say, I don't know anything about video game development. I would really enjoy making an MMO. Yeah. When you start making statements about here's what's wrong with MMOs is that I want them to perform in technical ways that are literally impossible given the current technology and available <laughs> processing power of machines. That's when it's like, okay, so you're stupid. Shut uh -huh. up. You don't know how to make video games. So just say, I would like to make an RPG starring ISOM. Yeah. It would be a fun quest. Yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking for a combat system. I like this to be a Why? mini fighter of sorts. This would very much be a controller-driven game, but I have some ideas. <laughs> controller-driven game. Have they ever tried that? CDG. It's a classic industry term. <laughs> controller-driven game? Sure. All right, you want to make an oh, online? Wow. He wants to make an online brawler. Starring, or starring Vito, you, you Vito, make your own You just, it's a controller-driven game, it's controller -driven okay? Game. Don't get... Don't think you know more than about his Is vision. Is he writing than these scripts for himself? I don't even. I have no idea. <laughs> Who could possibly Who write could possibly this? Possibly write this. I want to hear about his controller-driven game. It's controller -driven a controller-driven game. game. About input options too. We'll talk about that in a bit. Marvel's Avengers yeah, was that. a game that failed because it did exactly what I said not to do, or it will fail. But <laughs> the one redeeming quality was its combat system and its setting. What I mean by that is that we got to see a true live response combat system with heroes varying in their powers. Okay. I imagine for our game, it would be a mix of that with maybe even a hint of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. <laughs> the He's a 12 year old child, like that's it. It's listening to a 12 year old it go. It failed because exactly what I, exactly what I, I said. said it would fail because they did. I want to make a video game that's like <laughs> Spider Man plus Mario Goku. 2. Mario 2. Pinball. Pinball. Put a, yeah. Also, Contra. Fuck quarters. It. Throwing quarters at quarters. the wall. Everybody play that. The important thing is it's a controller driven game that is not accessible to everyone. <sighs> the point is it's live response, and I don't want it to be a button masher, I want there to be combos when it comes to melee that's based on both the button combinations and the timing. When I say live <laughs> Okay, so 
I know the technical shit is like pissing you off, but the reason that MMOs have very simple like three hit combos is again, you can't feed that many inputs into the system when a game has like a hundred players because each of them has to see what you're doing at the same time. I know you're just explaining stuff that's so far beyond. He's it's like you're mad at a child for not understanding. Like listen to how he describes a combo. It depends on the buttons and also the timing. We've only like, now discovered oh, yeah? r- look up rollback net code, okay? We finally figured out how to make fighting games work <laughs> online. And the way fight and those are video games that are one on one. Uh-huh. And that uh, address the problem of the computer can't possibly know what you're doing so it has to guess and yeah. if it's wrong it will then roll it back slightly with minimal lag. Look up rollback net code, watch a video on it. It's very interesting. And we've only now uh, figured that out for two player fighting games. He's going to correct you. You want to put that in a 100 player MMO. We the, you it's not at that point, and it probably never will be unless we somehow achieve Somebody's the, the push gift it of forward, infinite though. bandwidth, and we will not achieve infinite bandwidth in our lifetimes. He could be the Elon Musk of online games. You can't have com- a complex fucking combo system in an MMO because it will just... I know. I'm getting too technical. It's just infuriating to hear guys who know nothing about video game development being like, the problem is the video game studios are lazy. Yeah. And it's like, no. It's not laziness. It's not a lack of your brilliant foresight. It's mm-hmm. literal technical limitations right. that you do not understand because you are not a programmer. Response, I mean that there's going to be an obvious skill gap because of the reaction speed. So that means a very thoughtful weave and dodge mechanic. That's going to be key. With the primary gameplay, I like the characters to have two main stances, if you will. A general <laughs> stance, which will allow them to freely aim and target whatever this their character is facing. And then a fight a stance, fight which stance. not only allows the minute. user to focus on one enemy, but it would also change the combinations and moves that are available to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you ever think of anything like that in games? So I used to know this kid, this Hispanic kid named Johnny. Uh He loved video games. Right. Um, And he reminds me very much of Eric Schlein. Okay. One time I got roped into playing. What did he ride to school? He he had a moped. Oh. He was a weird little. I mean, uh, I knew him from the card store. Was it a normal size moped or was it short? We didn't go to school together. Okay. (laughs) He rode a normal size moped. Eric July reminds me of this guy, because at one point we played a a tabletop RPG, like a Dungeons & Dragons type thing, but it was a Mm -hmm. superhero universe. Clicks? uh, I forget what it was called. It was like Superpowers, the RPG. Okay. And everybody says their character, and, you know, one guy's like, well, my guy's kind of like Superman, but he's just got his powers, and, you know, he's figuring it out. And other guy's like, oh, my guy's, you know, a speedster. He's very fast. We get to Johnny, and he goes... My guy is like, you know, like Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, and he has like a sword on his back, and the sword is like invincible, and also he's invincible, like you can't hurt him at all, <laughs> and he's got like, he can shoot fireballs, and he's got a special gun, wow. and he's got a he's got a magic motorcycle that can jump, and again, you can't hurt him at all, he's like the best, he's the most powerful. Sounds cool. Yeah, and the only thing that can hurt him is in... It's gold. You know, the only way to hurt him is with <laughs> gold, gold. With gold. <laughs> and the dungeon master, my buddy Seth, was like, so you made a character who can't be hurt by anything unless it's gold? He's like, yeah, so yeah. can't be hurt either. Can't be hurt by anything unless it's gold. Uh-huh. And then he spent my, the, the DM made for the rest of the campaign. He'd be like, you, you're fighting against a villain. He has a gun. And then Johnny would be like, what kind of bullets in the gun? He'd go, golden bullets. And he's like, fuck, I'm screwed again. <laughs> Every villain had a golden weaponry for the rest of the campaign. I see. And that's Eric describing his video game and his characters. And it's like a 12-year-old child uh-huh. just being like, he's going to have a fighting stance and then like a regular stance. And then like sometimes you do like a cool combo. And there's all these combos, man. But then you got to, you got to dodge sometimes. Right. What's the story? <laughs> Well, he's got a sword that you can't break, oh, okay. and uh, also he doesn't like being disrespected, and he hates security guards, Ming. Security really guards coming hate. out of every- There's all these security guards <laughs> coming at you, Ming, and and if Johnny's listening, Johnny, I love you, but that was the stupidest character I've ever encountered. You gotta charge up your respect. <laughs> you kill the security guards and collect their respect, yes. and then you charge up your respect meter. And you collect respect points. And then you can fly. It's a man with endless ideas. And then you can go in the club. The man who never runs out of ideas, Eric July. 
because this would basically change that game into like a 3D fighter. This is where I'd imagine some of the PvP could exist. Oh. Balancing that would be one hell of a challenge, however. For and that's home. where Xenoverse lacked. But my idea to address accessibility concerns would be in the gameplay and the class system. Yeah. Though melee type of combat, that's gonna be where most people gravitate towards, right. I can think of a few other options. Okay. I want as much variety as we realistically Here's can have wall. without much of a meta. Easier said than done, I know. But yeah, what your developers are going to kill you. <laughs> your game developers are going to be like, done. Oh. Your, your, your developers are going to be like, I mean, not for you. You don't do anything. Right. <laughs> you be like, okay, so you want a 3D brawler that then transforms into a side scrolling, whatever the fuck, and, and then the becomes stance. a fighting the game. Uh, let's get the stance down. I want write it. I want a Zelda game where every time I complete a dungeon, it sucks my dick, but I'm not making a video about it because it's moronic. <sighs> I've often thought that I would want a little bit of porno in the game. But then I think about it in practice, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think that would ruin it. Some Japanese games do it. Well? We talked about on here, I need a copy of Steam Hearts for the Sega Saturn. Hmm. Okay. Though I think the Sega Saturn version has, I don't know if it has the porn stripped out or not. <sighs> I just don't think it would be, uh, I don't think it would, I think it would make it worse. Usually it's a gimmick. Yeah. Well, yeah. You ever play the exactly. Saturn Kagura games? No. Those are games where you're female ninjas, and every time mm. you beat up other ninjas, their clothes fall off. And if they mm. punch you enough times, your clothes fall off. Ah, that's weird. They're pretty hot. They got big old bitties on them. Okay, I'll give it. A, I'll the look, games are I'll not that tight, it. but if you if you want to knock a lady's clothes off, they have a pinball game too, where you <clears throat> hit them with pinballs until their clothes fall off. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. Wet Bandit for five. Why is Isom Knox Grave so accessible? Are there no gates? I guess not. John Riffs for five. Noel wishes for Riley and Vito's death. Not Chris Chan, though. Oddly enough, she's an actual sex criminal. <laughs> rapist. Well, uh, Chris Chan has denied the allegations okay. against themselves. Lemon Trashy for two. Today, Noel said he's going to review ice. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't wait to see how great well, let's and, and see. made I'm it sure is. I'm sure he's going to say it's great. Yeah. Wait, I have a Noel clip, too. Okay. I better have that. You got a couple of them here. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a ton of Null from... Null is just... I saw his clip where he's he didn't even know. He's like, yeah, it's his grandfather who he was really close to. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here's is this that it? One. Yeah. Yeah, he named his book after his grandfather. And then when people found out that he has like a really close relationship with his grandfather, one of the dicks show... Okay, so that falls. That's or wrong. Null is incapable of getting a single fact right. Uh, and I don't know why that is. And you can just qualify your statements with, I don't really understand what's going on. Here's what I believe is happening, but I could be wrong. Yeah. And if you did I don't that, think that gets you as many super like, chats no. as just saying that it's you just had a close making up in your head. Yeah. That's the thing. That comes out of nowhere. Yeah. No one has ever said... Eric had a close relationship with his dead great Eric. great grandfather. Like you made that up in your head. Yeah, that is not. Any, and he does that a lot. Is he'll yeah. take a situation and he'll go, "I'm pretty sure that guy said that Eric and his grandfather were really tight." It's like, no, you came up with that. You said that. Only you. Constantly, he invents new information, and he's sure that he's heard it somewhere <laughs> else. It's really weird. All right, here we go. Yeah, he named his book after his grandfather, and then when people found out that he has like a really close relationship with his grandfather, one of the dick show people went over to the, the headstone, and it looked like he pissed on it. No. I think that <laughs> it doesn't look like that at all, because he didn't. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let's see what let's see what Null thinks looks like he pissed on it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look that? At, that's the piss? There's another piss. So uh, this guy. Does like, anybody have the picture Null's talking somebody about where he looks like he pissed on it? Apparently there was like some grass clippings that he moved. So there like ended up being like some grass clippings on the grave or something. I forget if they were already on the grave and then he moved them because. Uh, that's not, but that's the old pic. That's not the picture from the day he was there. Okay, let me see. That's just how it appeared. I'm pretty sure I was joking online. about it on Twitter because it's so fucking stupid. Guys, nobody pissed on a grave. And if uh, they did, we would say, please don't piss on a grave. Don't piss that's on graves. Stupid. That's posing, probably illegal. Posing in front of it with a stuffed bunny rabbit and a turtle is, in, you know, harmless. 
It does nothing. I don't really care about pissing on graves, but it's probably illegal. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's the piss. Here's the legendary piss. Uh, somebody's and somebody that. zoomed in. They're like, well, if you just look at the full picture, it's clear that it's grass. It's like no, it's not grass. No, is it I'll, shadows? No, what is I'll it? tell you exactly what it is. Okay. Um, I know exactly what it is. Here is the. Let me save it so I can bring it up. This is the grave, grave of Isom, <laughs> which uh, we are. Uh, someone is being accused of. And maybe I'll save this one too. But that picture uh, is not from the same day. That's like just the well, generic. Well, you know what, Vito? Uh, it's still. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna bring it up anyway. Uh, I get. I get why. why. Yeah. Uh, okay. It turns out that moisture exists in a lot of uh, scenarios. Uh, okay. So let's bring up Exhibit A. One more thing. So this is the Kiwis, or I guess Null. I don't know who. Mm -hmm. Saying that. Uh, a grave has been micturated upon in this in our fair city. Right. Here is the piss stain. Which is not in the shape of any piss stain I've ever seen in my life. Not dripping down the side at all like Have liquids you ever pissed tend that to do. Much? My dog will piss like when I take her out and she yeah. wants to mark every inch of territory. By the time we get back to the house, that's about how much piss she has left in her. Have you ever pissed on a flat surface and have it remain perfectly, perfectly on that flat surface without... Any, yeah. any drops slowly sl sloping on this perfect, obviously or, uh, this, this hundred year old gravestone up. is a perfectly flat surface. Or splattering over splattering on the side like the toilet. Yeah. Do you, no, do you sit down when you piss? Is that why you don't know what happens uh, in the physics of a piss when someone pisses? Could that be the problem? How come none of this is wet? How come like a normal piss, it didn't start out like... A little tiny bit of piss and then work itself up into a full piss and then die down. Why is it all directly uh, there like uh, he's shooting if I could uh, piss like he's perfectly a center, rat. If I could perfectly center my <laughs> piss exactly. the way that this man has, clearly. He stood over the gravestone yeah. and pissed straight down. He said, oh down. god, I gotta piss a little bit to the left <laughs> to really balance it out. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, what am I looking at? Fill, uh, fill all the retards in Null's mm. audience in with a little bit of uh, forensics detective work. Yes. You can see right here, in where you've expertly circled the piss. Thank you for that. <laughs> Couldn't we wouldn't have been able to <laughs> identify it without your expert? There's piss on it. CSI. Where? Yeah, where? Right, right here. <laughs> what are you Look, talking right about? Oh, uh, oh, thanks shit. for the CSI oh, cross wow. section. We can see that there's a crack here. Um. That goes all the way down. Mm. Now, uh, perhaps he pissed an acid piss mm. that, or, or an earthquake right, piss. Right, that eroded its way through instantly. the stone. Instantly. Yeah. Or perhaps... In a predator type, or an alien type situation. Perhaps water has been condensing on the freezing cold stone every mm. morning and put puddling in a microscopic, microscopic area of indentation on the gravestone. That over the years, over the 100 years that mm. it's been sitting there in the exact same spot in wherever it is, has worn its way down, gradually freezing, unfreezing, expanding until it slowly, very slowly eroded a crack in the granite. Wow. And that's what you're seeing. Maybe. Yeah. Just maybe. It happens to be normal moisture. Which? On a tombstone. I've been to, I've been to graveyards and that morning dew is out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, and then here's the here's a picture of it on a completely different day, right? Yeah. So this is the picture that was brought up from uh, whatever the gravestone searching uh, site is. Yeah. And you well, might notice would that you look at all uh, that piss? So that just naturally occurs on it throughout the you day. You see all that grass uh, yeah. all around, uh, smart guys? Uh, grass needs water. <laughs> so either they're watering this shit or water is just as naturally there. Right. Wearing its way down through the grave. You don't uh, think anyway. that it's naturally being pissed on by... Maybe God. the gravekeeper comes by every day and it's, pisses on it. Gives it a good piss. Fucking right. ice some Knox. Here we go. He mentioned, like, he teased that he would shit on it or something. I don't know what the fuck he, he never did. said he, he never was going to shit on it. Never. That's ridiculous. Never. That In would... fact, he was like a really nice guy. He who cleaned was like, it. Yeah, he was like, oh, guys, please don't fuck around with it. And also, I feel kind of bad about how bad the cemetery looks. Maybe we can donate them some money and like help them out. And yeah. He's like a really nice guy. Yeah. He's like, I just went there because I'm a fan of the show and I wanted to like take a picture. 
Uh, um, there was like a big wet stain on the headstone that's not present in other photos of it. So yes, it is. He, we just looked. Okay, wait. Let's see where that not big present wet, in other photos. There it is. No, there it is. You I don't fucking know. idiot. <laughs> Call you this fucking moron. You dumb piece there, of no, shit. No, there is uh, grass all around the tombstone. Get How do you think it got there, a buddy? Girlfriend, <laughs> no. We're Dude, gonna one keep push up. it. One push up, no. You gotta get give a us life. one push up, buddy. Get, I know you got one push up in you, man. Come on. You're addicted to not doing push-ups. I don't know what country you're hiding from extradition or whatever. They but have just, push-ups in that country. They probably do. And if you just get a woman and you love her right, you'll get all don't, this insane out of your fucking head. Don't get a woman. It's going to make things worse. <laughs> Trust me. I've been with women <laughs> my whole life. and I, My life's terrible. Focus on science and sysadmitting, but just do a push-up. All right, here. Play poured something on it. Mm. It's just really fucking gross, man. Yeah. It's really gross that people are like this. I, I still don't fucking get it. I know. I understand that that Eric July like Let feeds the tr- something on it. It's just really fucking gross. It's gross, man. It's, it's gross. really gross that people are like this. I, I can't it's believe gross. it. They're doing gross things, guys. I have really strong ethics, and it is just it's gross that a man would Ugh. show up and take a picture of the naturally occurring mer- moisture. Hold on, I have to make sure my I have to make sure Chris Chan's uh, mentally uh, uh, mentally in, incapable porn is still being hosted correctly. Right. Okay, can I get back to the? It's really it's gross. Right. It's so gross. I need to make sure all these legitimately mentally ill individuals are properly. Hold on, I have to make sure these uh, these anonymous people are um, are appropriately uh, uh, moderating underage revenge porn. Mm. A wink. All right. It's just gross. I just want, I, I don't know, there's no way to make... It's like a sorority girl. There's no way to make Noel live in reality. It's not possible at this point. He's too far gone. I think at one point he might at have existed point, yeah, yeah. in the realm of reality, but it's just like when you're just on the internet that long and uh, you never, you never, you isolate and you never see another real person mm-hmm. and you sit around. because well, they're all pedophiles. Right. You can't associate with real people. Okay, well... Whatever accusations you want to make, that's that's your call. I just think that people, all people, probably anything I ever see from Kiwi Farms these days, I go, these people are living in a paranoid fantasy. Yeah, and it's, it's a very weird. I understand. Slur, 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 slur. slur. Oh, I understand okay, okay, the okay, paranoid okay. fantasy is very fun. Like it's more interesting than your actual life. Yeah. Same way for QAnon. It's very interesting to assume yeah. that there's a secret plot. Yeah, that secretly people are conducting piss raids on old <laughs> black men's graves, and you're exposing the truth, and you're you're putting shame to these people. Gross. Uh, at the end of the day, a fan of a podcast went to it and took a selfie yeah. from a grave. Yeah, no one was hurt. Well, he literally touched grass. He literally <laughs> touched, touched grass. grass. Uh, I guess that's the that's the real mm, issue. That's so don't fucking get it. I know. I understand that that Eric July like feeds the trolls just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't know anything about having a website that endlessly tries to get people to engage with trolling for little, content. A little you bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just I don't, I bit. mean, I get that he doesn't get it, but all the other stuff is just like made up nonsense. It's fine to not think it's funny that like there's an internet beef and that you like, for some reason, I have a weird thing with me and Nick, but it's this constant it's the making okay. up stuff that's weird. It's the, I don't like this guy, you ever heard of bitch eating crackers syndrome or whatever? Uh-uh. The idea where if you hate someone, mm-hmm. no matter what they do, you oh. will find a way to be upset about like it. Like Israel and Palestine, exactly. as Eric was Same explaining. Yeah. So if you see someone you hate eating crackers, you go, bitch eating crackers. look at that fucking bitch eating those crackers. Where at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, but you eat crackers. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal. Yeah. All right. Because he, he does, like, instantly give these people attention. And I wish he would fucking starve them out. Why? But even funny. then, it's like nobody on the forum did shit like this to uh, to people. Yeah. And okay, taking a picture. It's not funny. It's the, <laughs> it's the reason. It's not funny. You're That's right. It's not funny. The reaction is funny. I mean, who's a professional comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Who is currently podcasting okay. to a thousand people who all seem to think it's pretty funny. It's not funny. 
It's not funny. I mean, I, anytime I, people are guffawing with laughter and somebody yeah. goes, well, that's not funny. It's usually that person's dead right. And I would know a lot about comedy because I ran fundraisers for a man who raped his mother. <laughs> okay. Well, good work, No. Just no one on the forum would do that? Just take, take a, pictures at a gravestone? Look, do your internet show. You can poke fun at lol cows. I get it. I think that's kind of what we're doing. It's kind of the same thing, but sure. What we're doing is bigger, actually. It's more fun than yeah. what he's doing. Just endless kvetching and moralizing. Oh, I just, nobody God, on the forums would gross. ever do something of this. This is the most horrible thing that's ever happened. You guys trick Chris Chan into getting a sex change. What do you <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure himself. he won't take responsibility for that. I don't care, but yeah, that's what you did. Uh, okay, <sighs> I know we're the worst people ever existed, and Kiwi Farms is a bastion of morality and truth. And all you somebody guys said on there. Somebody said, uh, "I never, I never go on," but somebody posted it. Somebody always yeah. posts the, you know, the hits. Uh, somebody said, "I just hate that Dick's getting away with it." Yeah. Well. You know what? Tell the cops that someone <laughs> we cops. don't know went to a gravestone and took a picture and see what they tell you. Uh, uh, so, Null says he's going to review ISOM. I'm sure he's going to say great. he likes it because he has yeah, to. Because, again, he great. hates us. No one can see what's coming next. Oh, man. It's bitch e reading comic <laughs> syndrome. He goes, look at these assholes reading a man's comic. Yeah. Well, we have that right. Black Angus reviews for two. I thought you were not going to say naked. Lord of the Kino for two. Love me, sniper thought. AI apologies to dab on haters. Yeah, I think she had AI write that stupid apology. That's note, awesome. Which she didn't need to read. Lloyd Lelewin for fourteen ninety nine Australian. Tried talking to Eric about his fallout with Nick Ricada, and all he did was pretend not to know who I was talking about, and would obsess over particular words <sighs> I use like an autist. He does that to everyone. That's a gangbanger thing. That's not an autist. Don't try. He's to a criminal. Don't try. Don't to forget that. Anyone who tries to have a conversation with Eric July, I just tell them if you say one thing, if you say like. You said Isom was good. He'll say, I never said Isom was good. Yeah. And that's his response to everything. It's because so, uh, he's raised by a woman, so the way he deals with everything is like a woman would. Yeah. Demanding 100%. You can't yeah. characterize his state. He doesn't understand the idea of characterizing a statement, being like, well, that was generally the idea of what you were going for, right? Well, I never said that. Yeah, like that's yeah. a woman thing. I saw him's like a kind of like a detective story. I never said it was a detective story. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, it is, you know, whatever. <laughs> don't don't try to engage that man honestly. It's impossible. Wet Bandit for five. That's an awesome shirt Dick is wearing. If only Biggest Problem had merch. Uh, I'm going to get that set up. Hold the Truth Hostage for two in good faith. Prayers to the ice on graveyard. Tourism is up 100%. That is a 100% factual truth. When is the last time someone went to the grave of Isom Knox? It's just celebrity. Tourism is up 10,000%. Uh, yeah. Synapse for 20 Australian dollars. I'd much prefer you being low energy than crying, Vito. Thank you for not killing yourself. Much love. Well, there you, you go. You don't have to do either. <laughs> Shut up. Cullen, I drank a nice coffee today. I'll drink coffee. Cullen Care for five. The biggest part, or the best part about Shad is that his brother Jazza is an actual artist with a massive art channel and actually busts his ass to make cool stuff. Yeah, I checked out his channel. He knows what human anatomy looks like. Yeah, Shad is like the this Danny DeVito and the twins thing. Yes. Or the stuff that ran down the ran the out of ran out of the pussy. Ran down the Side of your father, your mother's leg. Yeah, I'm two size some for ten GBPs. I'm an independent journalist for Ripiverse News and oh. the Avery Knox Foundation. <laughs> I was considering doing a story on the successful campaign for the Super Killer comic. I look forward to hearing from you. Wow, a oh, journalist man. is reaching cool. out. Sam Coin for five. Hey Trevor, I bought a super chat for Biggest Problem. I don't know why. TBF, I just wanted to say hey uh -huh. though. Dick and Vito, I love the show. Thanks. Pete Tong for five. Every week you're not banned is a good week for my ear holes. Thank you. LP Dirty T for two. Stranger Danger created a generation of dummies. Stranger Danger. That's what I'm calling it. There Stranger Danger. Thank you, Stranger LP Dirty T. J Lo for two GBPs. Hey, I love you guys. Keep up the jihad. Jihad, jihad. Is that euros or is that pounds? I think it's pounds. Pounds. Okay. So that's like five bucks. Yeah. Beach Hook for five. Up until three days ago, Jack Films had his home address listed on his LLC. LC. But according to the mob, that's not him doxing himself. Yeah, you could just Google his address. It's stupid. Claptrap to the Destroyer for 10 says, Happy birthday, Vito. Cool hat. It is my birthday. Happy birthday. Give me birthday super chats. I deserve them. CG for five. Shocked with the reaction of the Sniper Wolf. These terminally online people would get PTSD from a phone book. Didn't even happen on YouTube. It was Instagram. Yeah, reporter yeah. to Meta. Yeah. Not reporter to YouTube. Danny Fist for five. I wish for Vito to finish his comic and be less fat. 
I don't think I'll get my wish. You get one. You get one pick. Melissa Baker for five. Happy belated birthday, Vito. Hope your next year is the best yet. Yeah. I think it will be. Fox Foley for a Big Ten. I agree with you about the doxing thing, Vito. I think these people are acting intellectually disabled, too. But BF about it, mm. though. And remember that Zoomers can't handle the confrontation. Yeah. I'm on to you. Alklavetch for two. Happy Girth Day, Vito. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a free Mountain Dew. Ku for two. Happy birthday, Vito. Thank you for not killing yourself. Wet Bandit with the bunnies and the turtles. And That's another thing we're ignoring. Jose M for two. Shad M Brooks is the Eric July of AI backed drawing. He is bad. And the dumb. red back for five Australian. They should just charge people to use them at night like any other parking station. Sure. Yeah, put up a pay station. CG for five. Vito's problem is regulation for parking lots. Mm. Anything. I don't care. <clears throat> Zeta Quink Cell for two. Happy birthday day, Vito. Sarah Gardner for five Australian. Oh, come on, Dick. Where's our fun? What else would you want your money spent on, really? You know what? If people would die in it, I'd be more for it. But it's this drone shit mm. and just, like, shelling buildings and stuff that I... That should be... Not allowed. You've been watching the, crime. the grenade dropping videos, though? Come I don't on like now. those. <laughs> feel, I don't like video feel bad. game shit. You feel bad. Pigeon saw for five. Avoid the deodorant scrapes and use gel. I do use gel, but it's if it's too far down, the edges scrape. Well, never mind. Please vote down this horrible problem. Dusty Settle for two says, you need to be fair. Eric doesn't remember the phone oh, book. That's a classic move. Good one. Red for two. Black and white works for your comics art style. It looks good in black and white, but... I think the customer demands Kelly. <laughs> Whatever. Joe Ray for 10. Happy birthday, Vito. May you always find a parking spot. Turtles. PW Project for two. Super Killer checks in on his hospitalized girlfriend, Miss Carrie. And then we can do the uh, classic the loss. loss. Mm. Yeah. That would be a good that would be good if he has to burst in and kill the baby before That'd the be other guy good. shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty Push good. Push her down the stairs. If we show that Super Killer is responsible for the death of the Control Alt Delete, uh, you better do it, baby. Beard hair flosser for Big Ten. Hi, Dick and Vito. Take my money. I've already taken my laughs. This week, I learned Eric's favorite band is Sum Forty One. Mm. Don't you lose your N word usage card for that? Yes. Maybe Papa Isom could comment. <laughs> Not for ten bucks. Okay. Is Eric July half white? Well, they're saying that. Uh, Avery Knox was the the, okay. the the historical graveyard. That would thing explain is. his enjoyment of Sum Forty One. Yeah, because all white boys love the Sum. I was a big Sum guy. Yeah, the Summer of Sum, as we called it. Clap tap to Destroyer for five. Says you forgot Jet Force Gemini garbage game. Fox Foley for five. Regarding the coloring comment, people are really open to black and white thanks to the rise of manga. Yeah, don't be a biatch. Exactly. Stop making me go over this in my head. Pop quiz for five. Super Smash Brothers. Terrible game. Logan HS for five. Vito, did you know in LA you can park in yellow loading zones after 7 p.m. and all Six. day on Sundays? <laughs> yes, I did know that. Dayman for 222. Roll on deodorant makes my pits crazy itchy. Get the spray. Mega Harv for five. Canadian, the hidden ice arrows in Gerudo Valley not being a weakness for the tr twin Rova boss in the Spirit Temple is the most poorly thought out part of Ocarina of Time. Hmm. I'm just going to agree. LP Dirty T for two says a girlfriend plus an N64 controller with a rumble pack equals a squirting emoji. <laughs> Dominic. What? Are you getting your girlfriend off while you're playing video games? I guess so. Dominic for five says we hit 1,000 yes, viewers. finally. That is a milestone. Guys, one thing you can do is hit that like button. It does, I Beep. believe, boost. The algorithm makes more people find the show, uh, but we keep on growing strong. Thanks to all our supporters. Uh, we love you. Common Cure for five. Vito, you conveniently left out that the PS1's lack of a depth buff depth buffer made all the textures warp and bend like a funhouse mirror. That is a uh, error in the architecture mm -hmm. that uh, many emulators have solved. But yes. And you know what? It gives it a certain charm. Rusty Shackleford for 10 U.S. dollars. Did you guys see that vid of the Saudi guy saying BB should have eradicated the Palestinians when he had the... Do, do we need to really get deep into the Jew killing whatever the fuck? I didn't know the Saudis were so uh, into that's genocide. That's not what this comment is about. Wait, what is it about? It's about, another, it's about genociding the other guys. Who is BB? Uh, BB? Netanyahu? Yeah. Is that what they is call him BB? they call him BB? I have no idea. It means like grandpa and... Uh, 
uh, whatever Yiddish. Okay, so should I, I read this again? There's a video non- of a Saudi guy BB should have, saying BB should have eradicated <laughs> Palestinians. <laughs> Biggest problem, a thousand years strong. Yeah. Day man for 555 Australian. The N64 is fine and dumb. Terrible take on Ocarina of Time. No, you're, you're an idiot. And then he goes on to say, I'm an idiot and I'm dumb and I have hmm. bad opinions on video games. And I should jump off a building in Minecraft. Thank you, Dayman. Too bad. Jacob Ritchie for five says, I have to agree, Vito. N64 is overrated, but had some fun games. PlayStation had that enormous library. Siphon Filter was fucking dope, which reminds mm-hmm. me I have a present for Tony from Hack the Movies that I have to remember to send him. Tony loves Siphon Filter. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. We played it. He has a, an entire series of people playing that dog shit video game. I Go like watch it. my uh, episode. I just rip on him the whole time and tell him why Metal Gear Solid is better. Longbow for forty or er, Longbow forty for five dollars says, "Get a job, Krim. Get a job, Krim. PW Project for two. Dreamcast and Saturn deserve more love. And sixty four equals trash. I love mm. these super chats. On the John for five Canadian. Richard, are you still going to review that LGBT DC comic you were asking for earlier? Also, the only thing worse than spray on is the gel deodorant. I have the gel. Um, I guess. I mean, if someone sends me a link to it, that guy blocked us all. He doesn't even want us. Yeah, it just kind of seems like. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Send it to me. I'll look at it. Go watch my video about it, so you know what he's talking about. Red for five says, "Hopefully, Nina Infinity doesn't go in public because you might get slain by a mythical <laughs> hero on an epic quest." Hopefully, it's, it's possible really he would dangerous. see that goblin woman and want to slay her for the gold that lives inside her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Nina Infinity has to stream inside because every time she goes outside, adventurers are trying to behead her. It's gross that you guys are talking about that. It's just gross that they're being so it's rude. Gross that, that they're so mean. Logan HS for five veto. I hope you still like the Japanese Mario Kart bundle I gave you with the exclusive controller. At least N64 has lasted for 20 years solid state. I do like it, and thank you. That was a very cool gift. As I said, Mario Kart is one of the six good games on the N64. And every console has something like, I just, the, the endless fawning over it is like, it's one of the best consoles ever made. It's like not even the top 10 best consoles. Where do you hear this, this uh, stuff Dude, talking about video games? It. They're also obsessed with the GameCube. There's a lot of like Nintendo. I mean about like uh, blockchains being in competition and mm, stuff and well, trilemmas, not like Mario's. I don't know. When I read about Brandon Rubbles for five, Vito, you're a land whale <laughs> in Johto. I don't know what that means. Pokemon Johto League. Oh, okay. I think I'm in the Johto League. See. No, Johto spelled J H O T O. Land whale. I don't think they. Is that a thing? Is that in the game? Yeah. See, Johto. Well, that's Waylord. I don't know if that's exactly oh, what he's referring is this it? to. Um, Can we not look up Pokemon that are whales to compare right. me to them? Okay, is that necessary? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Robin Turner for 10 Canadian. Hey, guys, could you play a short clip called Gila Klein IDF Style? It's really no. funny. This doesn't sound funny. No, nah, no. Send it to us on Twitter, and we'll review it for the next show. Pigeon Saw for five. Eric July stands alone against the Billion Bunny Jihad. Yep, they're He's coming. He's fighting his own personal war. Jack Tellium for two. Used game stores in L.A. are the biggest problem. They're mostly bad. Game Realms is okay. Game Dude used to be fantastic, but all the prices now suck. Jay Thompson, 1327 for five. Yellow Flash will not read Super Chats that mention Masterson on his streams. Oh, really? he's a bitch. Um, and he knows he's a bitch. And I'm going to fight um, him in real life. In Minecraft. Oh, <laughs> you pussy. Um, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube. Uh, let's call me something else then. Super chat him, and then we'll we'll use a different name. Come up, just call call him a uh, Bugs. Come up with the names of the uh, <laughs> popular rabbit characters. Oh yeah, yeah. Like uh, what was Bugs Bunny's original name? Ephraim the retarded rabbit. That's, call me it wasn't Ephraim. Ephraim the retarded rabbit. I don't think. I think it was. Call him a uh, doc- do Doctor Velveteen, the Velveteen Rabbit. That it's, was a sad one. Pretty close. Ask him about Benicula. Uh, at Super chat him like, what was your favorite Benicula book? Because it's Halloween time. What's that book about all the bunnies who are living in the burrows, and then they bulldoze the burrows, and they made it into an animated movie? Uh, that was the Rats Watership of Watership Down. Oh, Watership Down. I don't know. Come up with a different <laughs> name. Watership Down is more uh, literary <laughs> than the, the secret of Nim. Call him Nim. Yeah, what was the name of the... Fievel. Fievel goes west. Don't, that was a mouse. No, don't call me Fievel. <laughs> Why not? Fievel was cool. Yeah. How many Palestinians did Fievel kill? I don't know. I didn't see that one that movie. If 
Favel goes Favel west. Goes. Favel three. <laughs> Favel goes home. Yeah, Favel <laughs> goes to the the uh, promised land. I didn't see that one. Uh, G33X for two. Chris Chan made those videos for Vito's birthday. I think he did. Oh, that's cool. You're welcome for 10 says You guys should get some ordinary gamers on the podcast. He recently had Justin Wang on his podcast where he talked about how Maddox absolute, absolutely exposed him. Uh, I've met some ordinary gamers. Very cool guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. He's not in L.A., but we could have him come <laughs> out. Coup for 10 says Vito, you got to be careful. There's Japanese auction websites. You can easily end up paying triple the cost of the goods price. If you lose all your money, thank you for not killing yourself. So, don't spend too much money. Yeah. Jose oh, M for five. Sounds like a challenge. How is Eric Jolly thinking about a video game where you can't even tell an interesting or coherent story? Not to mention he has endless stock of unsold inventory. Because he's a moron! Because he's an idiot! He's a child! He's thinking about game design. He's thinking about the part of video games he has the least expertise in. He's your moronic friend who's sitting on the couch and goes, Did I ever tell you about my idea for a video game? You it's, play it in your sleep. You play it in your sleep. It's got a combat system. It's got combos. You can dodge. It's kind of like Marvel so Avengers. You can play while you're sleeping, yeah. not be awake, but then you wake up and you feel like you played the game. Yeah. And it, right. comes, it comes with a special headset that jacks you off. Uh, Peen Wienerstein for two. Pants and underwear on the floor at public urinals. It's pretty Ooh, gross. That's, uh, specific. Well, at least you're, you're not taking. At least bar. you're not taking your shirt off. Yeah. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> Human Dynamo for five. The best way to end the war is to fund a huntu. No. <laughs> Drunken Atheist Studio for two. <laughs> says Diddy Kong Racing was pretty good. Fuck Diddy Kong Racing. Incorrect. And Crash Bandicoot Racing. They're just ripoffs. Fuck, rip fuck I, you. Somehow they got me. Jose M for you did? five. Well, the next one says it. Eric July's book sales must be so terrible right now. He must be getting desperate if he needs to bring back his shitty, incoherent podcast for can't rights sake. Okay. It says Vito said to be fair. Where did he say it? Where did Vito say to be fair? Somebody tell me in the on the stream chat. See this this bit never works because you always miss them. Well, you're, you should you're actually make me read. You should make me read a like a thing three hundred like two hundred or three hundred word essay if I miss it. No, I don't want you to read that much. Just okay, say just a say a tweet then. Say you respect Eric July. No. no, I don't want you to do that. You, it has to be big. <laughs> it has to be a big thing for it to be funny. <laughs> Earlier, okay, I'll take that. I suck, Cox. Yeah, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Diamond G also reminds us. Nominal for two says I'm a racist, and even I think the show is going too far. Oh come on, what do we do? Why we, don't you kill yourself? We didn't do, no, in Minecraft, Minecraft only. Oh, you can't say that. I don't think you can. Uh, but he's a ra racist. He said, "I don't know, sir. Oh. You're not allowed to kill anybody." Uh, Rusty Shackleford. Even yourself. No, you can kill yourself. Well, that's what I said to him. No, but <laughs> you <laughs> stop. <laughs> I know. Okay, ten for Rusty Shackleford. Says, Sorry for the shitty super chat. More money. Oh, thank you, Rusty. What was the shitty super chat? I don't know. Drunken Atheist thank Studio you. for two says Happy Birthday Vito, and for another two he says Bonicula is the shit. Torturist for seven Canadians says Waylord is from Hoenn. The biggest Pokemon in Johto would be Steelix, but Vito would need a jawline oh, geez, come to on. be compared That's to him. That's just mean. That is just mean. Steelix is cool. Oklavich for five. Vito, where are we with regards to wearing the hijab? I worry for your safety. Also, like your content. Looking forward to Super Killer number one. Also, happy, happy birthday. Thank okay. you, Oklavich. What a show. Dick, can I see our top supporters up on the board? Somebody sent me a message going, oh, I joined the Patreon. You didn't add my name to it yet. Yeah, I do it like every month, month and a half. I, I told you it would be a pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass. So everybody, whatever. This is the ones. If you want to get on it earlier, join the Patreon earlier, and then you'll already be on it. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you'll have nothing to complain I about. I know, but I told you. There it is, told guys. So. All our dickheads, all our videos. Uh oh. One second. Well, there yeah. it is, guys. All our dickheads, all our veto files. We love you. We respect you within limit. Don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. Don't forget, if you want to listen to the new bonus episode, The Biggest Problem in Halloween, now available on patreon.com slash biggestproblem and backed up by slash biggestproblem. What a show. A thousand viewers live. Hit that like button before we head on out. Let YouTube know you love this show. 
And uh, thank you for not killing yourself. Oh, uh, they want to hear Ja Rule more than Eric ja July. Ja Rule knows more about the Middle East than, than Eric, Eric July. July. Well, there you go. Take that. I want ja wins. Eric July to read an entire page out of a Harry Potter book without stuttering once. And you if stole you can do that it, from I did Maury, steal that from uh, 50, 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I think it would work. I, th- I don't think he could do it. I want him to summarize an episode of Caillou <laughs> and tell me what the tell obstacles what the that Caillou... Theme. No, actually, start with the protagonist. Tell All me right. who the pra- protagonist who is, is the protagonist? of the episode of Caillou that you watched. What was the overarching theme of the episode? Well, he had some blocks, but he didn't want to share the blocks with another kid. All right, I'm done. 